Disclaimer. This video's information is being provided for informational, educational, and general interest purposes only. The information in this video is not intended to shock, enrage, or otherwise provoke the viewer. The sole purpose of this video was to raise awareness of true crime-related events. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. After the beep, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have one dollar and thirty-five cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute. Plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from an inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently thank you for using Securus, you may start the conversation now. I love you, gorgeous. Yeah? Hey, this yeah. Are you, okay, you can hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. It's only going to okay. cost 21 cents a minute now, babe. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Actually, you know what this number belongs to? A Chippewa Lake, Ohio. Wow, are you really? <laughs> you want know a number for me? Chippewa Lake, Ohio. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's crazy. Chippewa Lake's right down the road, babe. Don't worry. Huh? Where's that at? Chippewa Lake out here in Medina. Really? Yeah. And I just asked my oh, buddy wow. Nick. He was like, that's right down the road. Well, it's, it. it's still cheaper than the other one, though. The other one was charging charging us $3.11 to connect on 30 uh -huh. minutes after that. Yeah, it's only charging 21 cents a minute. That's it. No connection fee. Oh. Um, I love you. I love you. When I just called you just now, I said if you had a dollar, like 70 something, or a dollar 60 something, left mm -hmm. out of that five, the last five I just loaded. So whenever you get a chance today, because we eat lunch at 11 day. And then from 11.30 to 1 o'clock, we're locked out. And then from 1 o'clock to 2.15, we're out. Then they do shift change. So from 2.15 to 3.00, we're locked out. Good morning. I'm in Yeah, my name is... My name is... Hey, Island. Good morning. Island. Good morning. Daddy, Angel. <laughs> I got a little you. pony tail. I love you. I love you. I'm Daddy. What do you need, man? Huh? Oh, you're not going to me go and do that again. Fucking talk now, babe. Oh, you're going to do it now? Yeah. Oh. Well, then. Can you call me when you get back? I'm going to do my best to make sure they get me here before lunch, but I'll call you before uh, we get locked out. I'll do my best to make sure that happens. All right. Oh. All right, I love you, sexy. And if you can, you. while I'm gone, people, can you try to put that other 10 bucks or whatever you got left on there? Yes. All right, sexy. I love you, gorgeous. All right, love you, too. And I'll call you here in a little bit, okay, beautiful? You have one minute left. I love you, sexy. Love you. Bye. Bye, beautiful. Bye. Mwah. Love you, my sexy soulmate.
Mwah. All right. Love you, my baby. Bye, beautiful. Bye. After the beep, please say your first and last name. Hi, my beautiful, gorgeous soulmate. I love you. Thank you. You have six dollars and twenty-nine cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Love you. Hello. Hey. Love you. Love you. What's the matter? Nah, just got in, and it is cold. You take a lot of pictures for me? I took some pictures before we left. You guys are back at the house now? Freaking cold, yeah. They got our, we left the heater on pretty decent one before we left. Yeah, that way you guys can warm up. Right, because it, it was cold. Shoot, the kids found a couple on the way home. Remember what we did last year when they found the boat? Yeah. But greasy twigs, a bunch of shit. So the kids just sat there put handfuls in their bag mm-hmm. on the way walk. <laughs> well, I just got back from church a little bit ago and got a recent piece and started crying thinking of you guys. You got a what? I went back to I went to church. And when I uh, went uh-huh. to church they gave us a recent piece and I got back to the uh-huh. and thinking of the guys. But um, we ended up just going ourselves. I got them. Because at the last minute when we said, I sent the kids over there, you know, to see if they was ready to go, they uh, last minute said they wasn't going. Nobody messed with you guys? No. No. Bubba was going war with the, uh, with the Michael, with Michael Myers, babe. That's not funny. But Bubba it was Bubba saw and I guess it was an older, you know, he was an older dude. But you know, like, but he was there with his, you know, his wife and his kids and stuff. But as soon as Bubba saw him, Bubba goes and says, "Yeah, Michael," and, and he kept nodding his head. And the Bubba did not want to wear his mask for nothing, right? But then when he saw Michael Myers, he put on that mask and that and got that knife real quick. <laughs> but I thought. I thought what was kind of cute was because, you know, they both kind of went, you know, with each other with the little knife. Yeah. You know, he, ba- he, like, he battled with Bubba. That's what's up. And That's then I guess what was up. Huh? I know. You should have seen it. I should have video cameraed it. Um, my lawyer never hit back, huh? Nope. So I'm going to give him a nice call early in the morning. What time did I call him before? I don't know, but I know I called him about eight thirty, nine o'clock before. No, I called him. I think it was about ten thirty. But I'm gonna try to give him a call about eight, about eight thirty. So much for oh. them cupcakes. I love you. I love you. I'm nervous, though. You what? I'm nervous. Why? Guys, like, people with child support in here, they get struck left and right. Six months, a year, 18 months, six months for five years probation, like, and everybody that's got drug charges are going home. Everybody with probation violations are going home. It's like everybody with child support, they're sinking. Hmm. Well, I just, I just say all you can do is hope and pray and that everything goes well. And hopefully I can get a hold of your lawyer tomorrow and find out if, you know, probation is the main thing that's on, you know, 
they're decision right now? I mean, hopefully he'll tell me something. Well, I mean, if you get a hold of him, tell him to get the fuck over here and come talk to me. Because if he don't come talk to me tomorrow, I'm not going to get to talk to him before a court at all. Which right. I'm so talking. what I'll do is I'll give nothing. him a call early in the morning, and I'll tell him that you need him to go and, and go and see you ASAP. That you want to see him before court. And then I'm, I'm like, hey, I'm, like, I'm scared. First time in my life, I'm scared. Because it's like, what if I get jail time? Like, what if they give me jail time? Like, what the fuck am I going to do? I don't think they're going to give you jail time. Because you've never been on probation, so I mean, they at least have to give you a chance for probation to see, you know, if you're going to do what you have to do. Where is your heart telling you, Miss Rodriguez? I say you're getting probation, and you, you're going to be able to come home. That's what your heart tells you? Yep. Because, uh, I, you, know, you know me, I always hope for the best, expect the worst. And just in case. But you know what's crazy is uh, this time around, I haven't, like, you know, like stress out, stress out, like I did before. Uh-huh. For a simple fact, because I've been through this place already with you that we, you know, went through this. But you I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to stress it. Just for a simple fact, because that's not good for me. But no, I'm not leaving. I'm not going for it. Mimi, you this way, baby. In six months, or a year, or eighteen huh? months. They're not going to give you time. And even if you was to do six months to 18 months, I still wouldn't go nowhere. Oh, wait, I mean. You won't trade me in? Huh? You won't trade me in? Nope. Huh? Tell me. Mariana's over there saying, I got 106 pieces of candy. Uh, tell her she got to save Dad, son. Uh, Dad said you better save him. Open her mouth for a while, like, huh, really? But um, just in case, uh, I put him to go be a trustee and work in the kitchen because out of every month that you're in the kitchen, you get 10 to 15 days knocked off your sentence. You put him to be a trustee? Yeah. Because, it's uh, like you're trying to make yourself comfortable in there thinking you're going to stay in it. No, I'm not, babe. I'm, 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 it's not that I'm trying to stay in here. Like I told you, I always hope for the best, expect the worst. You know what I mean? In worst case scenario, if they fucking give me jail time, I want to be able to get jail time knocked off. You know what I mean? But, too, you know, when you go in there, you could also let them know, you know, you you was in there on whatever the violation was. You don't plan on, you know, any further violation in the future that, you know, as far as uh, probation or whatever goes, you know, you'll you're stick to your probation. Trust me. That's you. what you have to ask. No. When I go to courtroom, I'm going to say whatever the fuck I have to say. To go home to my wife and get that day. You hear me? Yep. But if everything I say isn't good enough and she still gives me jail time, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm preparing myself for the what if. So if. Well, they also, they also got to see it like, okay, what? They, they didn't receive a payment. That, okay, yeah, that was a violation or whatever. But at the same time, they're not going to be receiving any type of payment if you're locked up. So what? what is that any good? Right. Well, You've never been on probation before, and they at least got to give you a chance to be on probation. And then if you violate probation, then, then they could sit there and say, well, look, he already violated his probation once or, you know, whatever. Right. If you've been on probation, then we're going to give you that jail time because we're not going to play it. The thing that makes you me nervous, you, never, you, never, you, never, you know, I'm saying they have probation. 
the thing that's making me nervous, though, is my buddy Daniel Callahan I went to high school with. That fucking judge, Judge Kimbler, gave him seven months in the county and five years probation. And they gave him seven months? They gave him seven months in the county, which he already did, and they gave him five years probation on top of that. So that's why I got nervous and was like, fuck. I looked at him and I was like, no, hold on. You can't sit there off of yours after what everybody else goes through. I know, babe, I know. Everybody else's situation is the same. I know. Believe me, Miss Rodriguez, I want to come home with my wife and kids. That's all I talk about is you and my kids. Like, that's it. <sighs> I love you. I love you. When I was thinking, because I got a five more dollars left, I'm going to call you back again tonight. Um, but I was going to ask you, like, tonight what I want you to do is figure out all the bills, you know what I mean, the money that you want to put up for, you know, for you guys, you know what I mean? But I was wondering, do you think it would be a good idea if you were to do a $50 penalty on the child support tomorrow before court? So that way they could be like, well, look, you're in jail and you still made a payment. You know what I mean? Um, I, also, I have a question. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Because they put they ask your signature on there. No, no, they could do it over the uh, online. I don't, I don't know how to do that online. Um, uh, I guess you would. Uh, I guess you could call uh, without a county child support and be like, "Look, I'd like to make a payment for my husband. You know, how can I go about doing that? I have my my debit card. I want to make a payment right now for my husband, and they should be able to tell you." Uh, you know what I could do, too? Would I be able to get that? Like, I'm thinking, uh, is your lawyer, okay, if I call him and I talk to him tomorrow, tell him that you was, you know, had plans making a child support payment, would it be okay if I sent in the money for them? I, I don't know how that goes. They don't care where the money comes from. Right, but I even thought about sitting there, you know, putting your name, Chris Rodriguez. But with them, they haven't written your handwriting. Well, that, I mean, I honestly think the best thing, like, for you to be able to do is, I, I don't like to, I don't want you to get in trouble for signing my name. You know what I mean? Because you're right. They know my right. That's, that's what I was thinking to myself. Like, okay, wait a minute. But I'm pretty damn sure you can go on the website. Without any kind of child support, you know how they got the web portal and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. I think you could do it that way. I think they'll ask you to put in the debit card, you know, your credit card information, and they'll ask you how much you want to pay, and they'll take it directly from the card. Because I asked the CEO earlier if they could do that. He was like, yeah. He was like, anybody can go and make a payment for you. He was like, it don't matter. He was like, you know, either you can send a money order, check, or whatever. He was like, well, in your situation, you being in jail, he said, your best step would be for your wife to call the child support office and say, hey, I need the number or, you know, someone to talk to so I can make a ch uh, payment for my husband right now. I have my okay. uh, All I can is call the uh, child support enforcement, Medina. Yep. yep. And find out, okay, do I let them know you're incarcerated? Yeah. Just when I have my husband you, there and I'd like to make a payment yeah, for it. For payment. Huh? Right, right. I love you. No, but, uh, um, it's not that I'm trying to stay in jail, beautiful. I'm just preparing myself for the worst case scenario. And if I do end up getting jail time, believe me, I pray every day I don't. But if I get jail time. I really hope you don't because six to 18 months, you're going to miss the baby being born. I know. And by the time you get home, the baby's probably already going to be a year and some months. Well, another thing I learned, um, if they go and give me, let's say they give me six months in jail, do you know I can file for half time, which is after 90 days, I can file for a motion and ask the judge to let me out because I have kids, because I have my wife, and you know, and I, you know what I mean? And, and 
to let me out and put me on probation. Well, I mean, not only that, but you can also talk to your lawyer, talk to the judge, and you can also say, look, I, you know, I, I, could, I, I could have that proof that I paid the child support, that, that you did make a payment, you know, because if I'm doing this tomorrow, I'll have this stuff for tomorrow. I mean, for the court. Be like, look, you have one minute left. I love you, and I'm so therefore, I, I can take that up and be like, you made a payment. Well, we made, well, I made a few of them. You know what I mean? It just wasn't like they wanted. You know what I'm saying? Right. I love you, gorgeous. Love you too. One more day to wake up. Mm, yep. I guess the I, I I don't know. Like I want you to make sure you got the bill money. A hundred for the lights, or a hundred and fifty for the lights, fifty for gas. You guys just sell the phones. You know what I mean? Like, money for the food. Like, I know my wife. I don't, like, that's why you're my school mate. I love you. I love you. I'm going to go uh, download the uh, last $5 I got. And uh, it probably takes about 10, 15 minutes to get on my account, my phone time. And then I'll call you back, okay, before I go to bed. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. After the beat, please. Say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Thank you. You have five dollars and twenty-six cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press 6. Oh. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello. Hello. Ah. You okay, sexy? Yeah. Go, 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 go. Where y'all at, baby? Over here, packing the car wash. Okay. Ain't nobody fucking with you in the hood. Uh uh. No. We don't even come outside the house unless we have to. Did you guys get you guys some new movies and stuff? No. I mean, yeah. We did, I just got to send us back, and guess what? We finally got that, um, the, um, Wonder Woman. Aww. The movie movie. Yeah. And then the Western movie came in. Aww. Man. And then the movie, um, Cartel? Yeah. That came in. Aww. I love you. I love you. Get down. Dog, yeah. yeah. He's uh, working it, Bubba. I'm going to sign a property release form over to you, okay, beautiful? You what? I'm going to sign a property release form to you. Okay. Come on. I'm going to give you my phone and I'm going to give you my wallet, okay? Why? Ain't you going to need that stuff when you get out? Why? You'll be here to pick me up, won't you? Right. Yeah, of course I will. Well, it's your phone. I won't need it. At least that way you guys will have two phones, you know what I mean? What did I tell you about throwing rocks? I mean, if, if you want to, you know what I mean? I just figured that way you guys have two phones, it wouldn't be that, you know, stressful, but... I love you, my beautiful wife. I love you, the sexy husband. Sam and them bitching about their money or no? I said, is Sam and the Donna bitching about their money or no? I have some good in it. Huh? I have a good in it. Oh, okay. 
Mar went up there to get the money order. And they gave it to her. It? Yeah. Okay, cool. Ask her, uh, and don't nobody mess with her when she walks the street, like, you know what I mean? Like, I swear to God, if they try to touch her or say something about baby girl, I'm going to kill her. So she would have came and told me, and uh, she didn't say nothing, so. Okay. I love you, gorgeous. Um, I love you. You said you were going to try to put money on there on Monday, baby? Yeah. I'm going to do it on Monday. You only gave me 50 bucks to get just so that way it holds up so much. She only gave me like 50 bucks today. So what are you going to put on the light bill? Like 80? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'll throw something on this. And I think that the gas is what? You know something? The gas is 51. Well, I mean, it's regular 103 this month. So all you got to do is send them 51, and they're good for next month. You know what I mean? Okay, because if I do that, then I might just pay that with the debit card. With the gas? Yeah, just call them and pay that off. Okay. Because um, I was going to ask you if you wanted to, because everything's cheaper. If you was to order it, then me order it online. I mean, me order it on the kiosk. But there's a um, a package. Thing. Remember how you ordered my eye care package? Oh, Lord, you going to put me through that hassle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, look, this one that I'm, I, I looked at the paper, it's only $21. It comes with nine soups. It comes with nine bags of chips. It comes with, you know, it's called a starter pack. And it's only 21 bucks. So I figure if you're going to put that... You're talking the same thing like I last time? No, 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 no. I don't want that big of a package. No. I just want the $21 package. And then you can put the rest of the money on my my uh, on, the, on my account so I can buy phone cards with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> We're turning on our state now. Okay. I love you. Tell Mama, thank you. When Daddy gets home, I'm going to give her a hundred bucks and we'll go to the store and buy whatever she wants. You hear me? Yeah. Mars, Mars over here in the church and said, this is why she didn't put You hear? Huh? Mars over here chipping on this transaction that was uh, over there by the store. <laughs> was that one with the big ass <laughs> cheek to the throat? Oh my god, Mom, did you see that? <laughs> That's my favorite girl. You know, Her okay. and Bubba. I'm going to start doing better, a little bit better for you when I told him you ain't going to car cars. Huh? I said, if Bubba start being good for you after I told him he wasn't going to car cars. Yeah. Okay. And my other letter didn't come today for you, Derek, did it? I don't know. We just walk into the door now. We're just so getting ready to walk through the back. If not, it'll probably be there on Monday. You know what I mean? Marty, you want to run and check the mail real quick? Okay. We're home. You can go. Don't even get me the uh, I can't pass, baby. Don't fuck that. You know what I want? Flip to the back. Huh? I said, don't even get me the I care pack. You know what I want? For real, for real? What? Some pictures of you guys, baby. Like, for real. You want me to uh, get a disposable? Well, if, like... if you want, you can get the... Uh, the pictures that are in the SIM card. Remember the big, remember the big SIM card? You can put the little ones in. Uh huh. And you can take them to Rite Aid or uh, Walmart or Walgreens, wherever they got a uh, yeah. picture place. And you can get it straight up that way. Because my buddy said that uh, his wife took ten dollars and she printed over a hundred something pictures. What? You know what? This boy. Hey, guess what his his favorite cuss word is? What? 
Mother's father. And you know who that is? Do you know who taught him that? Hmm. Angel. That is, that he's calling everybody a motherfucker. That's okay. Tell him he ain't gonna have no teeth when I get home. Mark my fucking Mark words on him. Because he called her a motherfucker. Called who? Mark. Tell my mom smack him in his fucking mouth right now. Harder. Just did. Just did. I swear to God, I'm gonna beat them little boy's ass. He ain't had an ass whooping until I get home. Watch. Watch. I got his ass with the belt and he got a, a little walk right on his head. That's okay. That's what he needs. But I'm telling you, when I get home, I'm going to give everybody a hug, kiss, tell him I love him, I miss him. You a lot longer, of course. But he's going to be the first one I'm getting my belt on. Hey, uh-uh. We're not playing outside. It's going to hurt so bad. He ain't going to be able to sit down on it, babe. I'm dead ass serious. Boo-Boo does not realize the ass whooping he has coming to him. Right. I, he don't. He thinks right now it's funny. Uh, he he, he going to scream. And when he screams, I'm going to put a sock in his mouth. And I'm going to whoop his ass some more. I'm not on that shit. Don't nobody disrespect my wife. Don't nobody disrespect my kids. Oh, yeah. Nobody. He's been hitting us on this motherfucker and everything. And that's all because of Angel. Because he hears Angel talking all that dumb shit. Yeah. yeah he ain't hit you up either, has he? Oh, no. I'm I'm not talking to him right now. Here. Why? What happened? No. What happened? Hello? Hello? The caller has hung up. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love my beautiful wife. Why? Thank you. You have five dollars and five cents. This call will cost 21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from I love my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press 6. Thank you for using 6. Kiris, you may start the conversation now. I'm not doing for soulmate. Hey, Taxi. What are you doing? Oh, my God. What a day. What I happened? got the kids with me because, you know, we have to go and get the wig. So we did the wig appointment. Kids got this so terrible. I mean, literally, just terrible. Aww. Like, you know, you, you can't fucking know it. And everybody's looking at me. You know, like, you can't control them. Fucking right. running around. Yelling, screaming. Then Google's thinking that he can still do the same shit. He's still fucking other side. Uh, I can't do this. I really can't. I love you. Just breathe, please. And then to think we added on another one to this? Man. Who's the only ones being good at? Both the boys were acting up. Then Tati wants to start acting like Boo Boo. Me and Mom are being the only ones good? Huh? Mar tries the best she can do. They are not listening to her neither. Well, you know what? Put their fucking asses in the corner. As soon as you get home, and keep them there all fucking day. All day. But that's just not doing nothing. As many times as we can get them with the belt, do Mar push the shoulder for me, please. Hit them with the belt, everything. They don't listen. Put them in the room. They're not listening. I mean, 
We don't know what to do. God damn, man. It's like every fucking thing we do. And then Boo Boo, sitting there smacking us in front of everybody in public. He thinks that he could just get up and hit people. Punch his little ass then. Punch his ass in his fucking arm. Man, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And all, he got, all he does is sit there fucking laugh in our face. I'm sorry, babe. Yeah. God damn. How to fucking bring all of them? Why couldn't I just bring one at a time or something? All of them just literally, I'm not doing that again. Right. Yep. I refuse to. Yeah, fuck that. And then I look at him and tell him, you know what? Then I look at him and tell him, then you wonder why we don't go nowhere. I don't take you guys nowhere. Y'all just stay your asses at home. Yeah, exactly. They get bored for all I care. And you know what? I told them today's the sad part. Today's not actually that cold. Y'all could have right. went to a park. Yep. You know, because they wanted to go to a park on the way home. I said, you know what? The way I feel, I just want to go straight home. Don't. Because I can't, the park, I can't see the trouble. Listen to me. Do not take them to the park. Do you hear me? Promise me you will I'm not, not take them to the park. I'm not. Because this is how we're going to get to that day until I get home. And it's sad because, it's sad because the girls got to girls gotta go with that because of the boys. Bullshit. Tell my mark, take me up to the library. They got a little uh, toy section for her. You know what I'm saying? I know Big Sissy won't mind going up there with her baby sister. But I'm, I mean, if it, man, shit's fucking driving me crazy, motherfucker. No. What are you guys walking all the way home, babe? No, we talked the rapid, like we did for the appointment. Oh, Lord, you can cross over, cross over. So you we got lucky. Come on, hold up. Now. Lord, cross over. This one. You guys are already close to, close to the house, or you just left the appointment? No, we're over here. We just left my show not that long ago. We're over here by the next few seconds. Heading oh, towards the uh, rapid. Right. But lucky we got it. We didn't get caught. But as soon as we got there, I mean, got off over there on 25th, mm -hmm. the rapid police was over there. And then when we got off, they, I guess they walked past us. But then when we got upstairs, when we got upstairs, they followed the back upstairs. So I don't know, you know. I don't think they're fucking gonna... with you, to be honest with you, because they see you with all the kids. I don't think they're fucking with you. But just in case you got a couple of dollars on you. Hey, well, Nancy came and dropped off some money to me over there while I was at Metro. Okay. So you have a couple of dollars just in case. Right. Okay. Ah, yo! Who is it, Bubba? Get him outside now! He's pissing us off so fucking bad. I swear to God. Put him on the fucking phone right now. He's not gonna listen. Here. Dad wants to talk to you. Hold on, babe. Alright. Hello? Hold on. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> Hey, Barbara, you hear Daddy? You better answer me now. Do you hear me? Barbara. Do you hear me, Barbara? You're not going to the car cars, dude. You're brown. Hey. Hello? Hey. Yeah. He ain't going to car cars. I'm done. He's not going to car cars. Oh, get that shit out of the fucking head. I know. But Bubba didn't want to get on the phone to talk to me. Get in there. Oh, I, th I thought you wanted Bubba. I didn't put Bubba. No, I, I want to talk to you. Oh, hold on. Here. You want to talk to me? You're not speaking, so go ahead. Hey, Bubba, you hear daddy? What's up? Do you hear daddy, yes or no? Oh, so you don't want to answer? Okay, well, then that's even better for daddy. Don't worry, you're not going to car car no more, okay? You're grounded. You fucked that up. You're
you don't want to listen to mommy, and you don't want to listen to sissy, you want to act like a little fucking jackass like Boo Boo, you're not going nowhere, dude. You're fucking done. You ain't going in no park. You ain't going outside. You're going to stand your ass in that fucking corner. And I promise you, if you keep being bad for mommy, I'm going to whip your little ass with a fucking belt. Do I fucking make myself clear? You got to sit the fuck down and act like a little seven-year-old and not a goddamn two-year-old. You Hello? know what I mean? Hello? Hello? Yeah. He ain't going to car cars. I just told him. You ain't going. You don't want to listen? You're not fucking going nowhere. Don't ask for no candy. Don't ask for no car. Don't ask for go outside. Don't ask for shit. Yep, now he got that little face, that powder face. I don't give a fuck. Tell him he's done. I done asked him three times to be my big dude, to be my little prince. And he wants to act like a little girl, but that's what the fuck he gets. Sick of this shit, man. And wait till I get home, because you already know shit's going to be way different as soon as I get home. And I'm tired of them always doing this shit. When I'm not no third party calls are allowed. Huh? Hello? What'd you say, baby? Oh, then Tati's sitting there acting just like Boo Boo. Yeah, because when she sees Boo Boo thinking he's getting away with everything, I'm telling you, stick their three little asses. Oh, no. Never. There was some getting his whoopings and his spankings that he don't care. You don't give a fuck. You give a fuck about nothing. Yeah, because he thinks he's the boss. No. What kid of a fuck ass thinks he's the boss when I'm not there? He thinks he runs you. That's what his fucking problem is. But I'm telling you, babe, bring his ass, put them in the fucking corner, and I'd make them stand there all fucking day. If they went for a while, it'll be longer. Because I'm telling you, they're only doing this because I'm not there, and I'm sick of that bullshit. They should be treating yep. me, acting me, acting that way with me. You're the one that fucking babies them. You're the one that gives them candy when I, you That's know, exactly like, what I look out for them. I told him, and I said, you know what? I said, now I know why dad don't work hard on your asses. And I said, you know what? I don't blame him. And I said, I'm tired of it. I'm not sticking up for y'all no more. I'm not sitting there doing, being this nice, being a nice mom no more. I'm tired. Yep, and they do that shit on purpose <laughs> to try to get me and in the And I'm not fucking like that. Nope, nope. And they got their little game system in their room, right? Well, as a matter of fact, they don't no. even put them up in their room. Because then they're, they're, they're little dumbasses think they can get outside and go walk around in our room and everything else. Put their fucking asses in their toy room on the couch and don't let them move. They fall asleep, fuck them. They fall asleep. Yep. Or put them in the fucking corner. But don't get them no more candy. Don't let them outside. Don't get them no fucking toys. They fucked up. And I'm telling you, I get up my good yep. time and I get out of here in January, you watch what the fuck happens. You watch what the fuck happens. Boo Boo ain't gonna be able to walk. I'm gonna whip his ass so bad. Flicking you off and calling you names. I don't know who the fuck you think he is. Huh? But something told me to call you too when I chirped you. I was like, man, I don't know, but I gotta feel a babe wants to talk. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna call babe. And did you hear all this? Like, their asses are mine when I get home. I'm just telling you, I promise you. And you know this, every time I come home from work, what do they do? They run and sit their little fucking asses down. This shit ain't happening no more. Fuck this. Right, and then wonder why I'm always in our house. I refuse to take them anywhere. They act like I got to act like acting. For real. Fucking bullshit, man. And you know what? Tell all three of them. Yeah. Tati don't care. Okay, because they ain't going to bother Tati because she going to get presents from Jake. But you let fucking Dum Dum know. Right. And Dum Dum number two know. Okay, well, if y'all were presents, y'all going to have to be good. Okay. Right, just like I had to correct him, too. Okay, he's talking about he made Tati and I got her appointment. Listen to this. And she's got her appointment on the 9th, right? Mm-hmm. So he texted and said, um, I was wondering if I could take her Tati on the 9th. Bring her back on the 10th. And I got to looking like, wait a minute. Hold on, man. Okay. <laughs> I got to looking at the calendar. I said, why would you pick her up on the 9th? Okay, I understand that, because the doctor's appointment. But why drop her off on the 10th? It's your weekend. You're supposed to have her. And then he was like, oh, my bad. I just looked at the calendar. I'm sorry. Did you try anything with you? Oh, uh uh-uh. Nope, I didn't take him nothing after that. I love you, gorgeous. I'm so sorry you're going through all this. 
but I can honestly say something. Mama and me are the good ones, and I know this one is going to be a good one. It's just going to be them three that are in the good ones. You hear me? I didn't hear you because that car's uh, coming. I said, Mama and me are good. I know this little man that's in your belly is going to be a good boy, but the three little ones, the middle ones, they're going to get their ass whooped. Huh. I got one more question. When do you got to do the uh, SSI thing? When do I got to do what? The SSI thing. What do you mean? When do you got to go redo, like recertify for the SSI? I don't have to. I, I thought you said you have to do it like every couple of years. Oh, no. <laughs> they just did the physical and stuff thing last year. Oh. So it's going to be another couple more years. Uh, that, that's honestly, babe, that's why I've been here fucking breaking down nervous because I don't want, you know what I mean, to them to cut that off while I'm in jail and then you be out there fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's got me nervous. So we still got a couple of years. Oh, oh. oh yeah. They're okay. still continuing. I mean, they, they just what I mean, certified it in May uh, of 2017. Huh? 17. Oh, okay. They just certified it. Okay. I love you, gorgeous. Like, that had me nervous the whole fucking time. Like, damn, yeah, man. Like, I got to get the fuck out of here. Um... If I don't file the appeal and I just file for the motion of sentence reduction for my early time, my um, early time date would be January 5th or January 8th, babe. And I know it still seems like so far away, but it's a hell of a lot better than April 18th or April 17th, my bad. I can't believe it's fucking uh, it's that date, though. Like, it's like, to me, it's like that bitch putting booty on me. You know what I mean? Right. I ain't playing, like, I swear to God, I can't stand that hoe. Like, for real, babe, I can't stand her. Like, that is my only regret in my life, is that bitch. Not little Chris, that bitch. And I don't know, to me, just like I wrote in that letter, you have one minute left. In the letter? Huh? It says, that, yeah, you better not accept any letters or any business from her, because you know she'll try to be spiteful and try to do that and make it seem like she contacts you. What does your heart tell you? What do you think I'll do? Because let me tell you. You know when uh, she said something about your uh, grandma, your mom's mom? Yeah. And I said, yeah, she's a nurse. Um, then you tell me why she was like, oh, no wonder she has been contacting me in a while. That like, as if she still fucks. No, she don't. Don't listen to her. She's trying to fucking start fires, baby, get me and you to fight and argue. Don't listen to that hoe. My grandparents they talk to her ever. You can call my mom right now. I'll give you her fucking number. And my mom will tell you that. Grandma called her to check up on little Chris. That's a fucking lie. That bitch is a straight up lying asshole. And you can tell her that. Straight up. You call my mom right now. That's a lie. That's a that's not my unborn child. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Miss you and the kids. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. I miss you and the kids. Say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. I miss you and the kids. Thank you. You have six dollars and nineteen cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you thank you for using Securus, you may start the conversation now. I love you. I love you. What are you doing, gorgeous? No, I'm sitting here and guess what? I was eating some mixed nuts. Huh? Eating some mi mixed nuts. <laughs> oh, yeah? 
Yeah. <laughs> you know what I want to say, right? My big favorite nut. I got some nuts you can eat. <laughs> I bet you can ask me. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. But I got a big old thing of them. You promise you guys ain't going to be struggling, babe? But what's up? I got you. I know you do, beautiful. I know my wife. Well, when I called you the first time, I had bought a $10 card. And when I just called you now, we still had $6 and some change left. And. I notice what they do. It's like three dollars and some change gets me fifteen minutes, but for four dollars and eighty three cents, we get twenty three minutes to talk. Mimi was looking out the window, looking for you. She said, "Dada, Dada." Oh. Dad, dad. Dad. oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. I miss you so much. Talk to Mimi. Me a diamond, dead dead angel. What are you doing, my baby? I love you. Hey, she heard your voice. No, so she's blowing your kisses. Mwah, that's it, my baby. As soon as she heard your voice, she opened up her mouth so wide, like. <laughs> you know how she loves you, baby? Yeah. Daddy loves you, my angel. I love you, boo boo. I love you, Mama. I love you, Papa. I love you, Tati. I love you. I love you guys. You guys be good boys and girls for Mommy, please. Yeah, right. <laughs> Daddy, hey, hey. Daddy will make you guys a deal. You guys are good for Mommy while Daddy's in here, okay? We're going to go to the park, and we're going to go to Chuck E. Cheese, and we're going to go to the IX Center. Oh, shit, the IX Center is coming up. The IX Center is in the IX Center. Yeah, it starts at the end of March and the beginning of April. Or it might be even the middle of the April. Um, but I had asked that lady again, babe, the commissary lady that came and dropped off everybody's commissary, and she said, as long as you get the order in, uh... Before Wednesday, I think it is, before Wednesday at noon or something like that, um, that I'll get it on Friday. And that I'm only allowed to get two eye care packs a, a week. You know what I'm saying? I love you. I love you. I already put in for your care packs. Huh? I said I already ordered them. You already ordered them? Yeah. Oh, I love you, sexy. Damn, babe, they're teasing me right now. Guess what they just bring in here? What? They bring in here large pizzas, babe. Oh. Holy the, um, fuck. Offices? Huh? The offices? No, no, no. The, you can order pizzas on, on the commissary. Like actual pizza pizzas. I saw that. Yeah, you could order pizza. I saw that on the eye care thing. You know, I yep. wasn't sure if you would have to actually have them. What? With my coffee? You said you were getting 11, then you come back to the door and say, you can't pay your reward, then you got to pay it with your coffee. That's the thing. All right. I knew that shit. Hello? I love you. Nah, motherfucker tried getting over on me before he got moved to West, and I already knew what it was. That's why I didn't do the deal. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, I'm not dumb. I'm no no. I'm, no offense to Boo Boo, but I'm no Boo Boo the fool. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. And it's the same dude that was begging me for a phone call, begging me for a five dollar phone call. And I was like, Bro, I can't do it. He said, Come on, man, we're bunkies. Da 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 da. I was like, Bro, I can't do it. I'm not gonna give up my phone time for my wife and kids for you, bro. He was like, Oh, that's fucked up. I said, How's it fucked up, bro? I said, You can't tell me what the fuck. Oh, first of all, how did you guys get them water guns? 
Give it to me. I'm cool. Now. That nigga reneged. Nick. What'd you do? None. That nigga said this song. He wanted me to get him coffee this morning, right? Yeah. Hold on one second, baby. No, no, no. Now all of a sudden he can't pay my shit. And it's like, wait a minute, that's why I didn't give you shit. I'm a man, I pay my own shit, you feel me? I ain't about to sit here on my... He was like, well, just give it to me, bro. When I get over there, I'll shoot it over. Nah, nigga. I ain't no boo-boo to fool. I got a son named boo-boo, but he ain't no fool. Straight up. I love you, sexy. I love you. Now, dude over here at the window trying to play like he cool and shit. That nigga soft as a cupcake, nigga. I'll pay it. I'll pay you, cool. So I ain't on that shit. That shit, but he kept it, but, like, you know what I mean? You know me, babe. I got a big heart. If I consider you a friend or, you know, cool with you, you know, I'm going to look out for you. Every time we say food, I always gave him more of my food than what I got. And he would never really say anything. I always saved it off. So I already know what type of person he was greedy. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even on that. He was like, well, come on, Rodriguez, hook me up with some coffee before they move me, and I'll give it. No, nigga, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. But no. Oh, they already moved him? Yeah, they already moved him next door. And he got his shit, and he was like, oh, well, what's up? And like, nope, I'm cool. I'm cool, bro. Don't even worry about me. I got this. So now he was just looking at the window like, hey, hold up. Let me talk to you. Nah, bro, I'm on the phone with my wife. I got nothing to say to you. You in another pot now. Leave it at that. Straight up. Mm-hmm. But niggas got mad because I wouldn't give a phone call. Oh, well, this and that. Don't ask. I nigga, mean, I don't ask you for shit. I don't ask nobody. I asked two people in here for something. And they looked out for me. Give me some coffee. One split half of his pop with me. You know what I mean? I'll look out for them to an extent. But you ain't about to sit here and ask me for something. And you ain't. No, it don't work that way. I'm cool. Straight up. But, yeah, I was sitting there looking on that paper. They got a combo thing. You get a, a eight slices of pizza, you know, a box of eight slices in it, a thing of wings, two cookies, and... Can I have those? Huh? Can you have those? Yeah, they're just now bringing it in the pod right now, beautiful. That's why I was like, babe, they're teasing me with pops of pizza. <laughs> no, but what I mean is if you order it, what, I mean, that comes in with commentary too, or does that just... Well, it depends, because commissary usually comes in the morning, but they were falling behind, and then the hot food usually comes at night, you know what I mean, like after dinner or right before dinner. But the head lady is here, so before she leaves, I'm going to ask her and be like, hey, my wife already ordered me two eye care packs for this week. It'll be here on Friday, but can she order me a hot meal too? You know what I'm saying? That's if you want to, beautiful. You don't have to, because if anything, I could order it off the kiosk. Right. But the one I was looking at was that one pizza, the eight slice pizza. It was like it was the pepperoni and the it was the I think the meat lovers. It was like fifteen ninety nine. And then I seen the other one. It was a combo. It was a regular, uh, like personal pan, like a medium pizza with the wings, the two mm-hmm. cookies, and the pop. And that was like fifteen bucks. And then you know me and my cheeseburgers, Miss Rodriguez. Yeah, you got like thirteen bucks and some other stuff. Well, what I have to do because I'm gonna have to just do that next week because you know how much that came up to itself. How much, babe? Seventy-seven bucks. For what the uh, rock and rum? Oh yeah, yep. The rock and rum was thirty-seven. Yep. For the shipping and handling, you know how much they charge? Seven bucks. How much? No, they charge thirteen ninety five. Hold on one second. I'm gonna need that coffee. For the shipping and handling. Uh, okay, okay. good shit. Thank you, brother. Um, the gentleman I was just talking to, he's cool. I call him old school. His name is Mike. He's like a, a kind of like a lawyer. He was a lawyer on the streets, like an actual paid, you know, lawyer. But he went to jail. Mike, you them squirting water from them water guns. Please take them away from them. They know they're not supposed to be squirting water in the fucking house. But uh, that lawyer dude is going to help me sell out my motions, babe. He was like, trust me, I know exactly what the judges want to hear. And when I go to uh, legal research this Friday, I got an oh, I forgot to tell you, I got the paperwork from Sergeant Boone. Okay, they started this warrant back in March of 2015, but why it just now showed up, I don't know. But I have proof that they can only charge me for the $13,000 instead of the thirty, uh, instead of the whole forty-three, babe. 
And the lawyer dude was like, that's excellent, Mr. Rodriguez, because I was going to ask you to get your docket information. Now that you got it, he said, when you go on Friday to the legal research, get the uh, printout of all the child support laws, of the Ohio revised codes and all that other bullshit. He was like, when you get that, I'm going to help you fill out your motion for a sentence reduction. He was like, and the fact that your lawyer, Richard Barbera, is a paid Medina County prosecutor, that's conflict of interest. That should have, your case should have never even went forward. They should have uh, put a continuance and got you a new attorney. He said, that's number one. Number two, you going to jail for the 43000 is against your constitutional rights. That's double jeopardy. You already paid your debt to the Medina County Court system. <laughs> But uh, he was like, you already paid your debt for the 30000 that you did in 2013. So they could not, they should have not been able to use that against you in this case. You should have only went in front of Judge Kimbler for your 13000 I said, would it still been a felony? He was like, no, actually, it's a misdemeanor. You should have only got max 30 days. That's it. So he's going to help me file all the motions. And I'm going to file a motion every week. Every fucking, at least. He said uh, at least two or three times a week I want to put a motion of sentence reduction. Can you please change Mimi? Diapers falling apart. What happened, baby? Oh, Mimi. Her diapers coming apart. Uh, I'm looking at this dude, babe. He got the triple gut buster burger. It's a triple cheeseburger. I think I've seen that. It's as big as the Wendy's burger, babe. I wasn't sure when I did that. I looked and I wasn't like I wasn't sure if it was like a pre cooked cook or you know what it was. No, no. But I was. You know. Well, they make all the burgers and the pizzas in the kitchen at the jail. They're all handmade. Okay. For you. Yes, they're they're made per order. It's not like they're frozen or anything. They actually and and that's actually real hamburger meat. You know what I'm saying? Remember how I told you all our food is all soy. The burgers oh. and the pizzas are actually real meat, real pepperoni, real sausage, real, you know what I mean, real hamburger meat. Oh. I got my wild cherry Pepsi today, Miss Farvickus. Mm-mm, good. Um, I actually mailed, I actually sent Western Union that money to her yesterday. And I got it, wasn't sure if she was working or not, which I, I don't think so, because she said that by the time she got my text message, it was about 7 or 8. <laughs> she said that uh, she wasn't at work. I guess her job was closed. And I guess when she does it at work, it doesn't mm-hmm. give her, it won't charge her. Well, okay. Yeah, because so it says I'm a kiosk. Huh? I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead, baby. What happened? No, no, because I was going to tell you, remember how you said it loaded at 11? When I, right before I called you, it said that the money loaded on my account at 11 o'clock a.m. here at the jail. Okay. But our mark, the people that you ordered the eye care package from, they didn't post it to my account until 1 o'clock. Do you see what I'm saying? And when we got out of lockdown at 1 o'clock, I had to go talk to the uh, pastor dude, the uh, well, it was a priest because I wanted to talk to him, like get some emotions and stuff out. And when I got yeah. back, that's when I, because I had ordered the phone time. You have one minute I, went, I ordered the phone time before I went to the uh, see the priest. And when I got back is when I called you. Yeah. I, I love you. Do you want me to call you back or call you here in a little bit? Because they're about to bring us dinner here in about 20 minutes. Well, if you want, you call me back later. Okay, well, we get locked down from 4.30 to 6 o'clock, so I'm going to call you, like, right before dinner to tell you I love you, and then I'll call you right after dinner if you want. All right, that's fine. All right, thank you, my beautiful wife. Thank you for everything. I love you. I love you, too. Thank you, my soulmate. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too, sexy. <laughs> Tell the babies I love them. Give them a kiss for me. I will. All right. I love you, my sexy soulmate. I'll call you right after dinner, okay? My sexy soulmate. Okay. All right. I love you. Get his cry, baby ass. Shut up. Thank you for using I love you. Goodbye. After the beep, please say United States. 
United States. After the beep, please say United States. United States. Say United States. United States. Thank you. You have $15.95. This call will cost $0.21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... 11, I think he stole me. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press... 1. To refuse this free call, press... Thank you for using... Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello? Hello? I must have she stole me. She wasn't going to call for a minute. We just got off a of lockdown. I was just telling Mar that. My, my buddy, that he, my next door neighbor, like in the same, not in my cubicle, but he's the one next to me, <laughs> he had meningitis a long time ago. They took him to the hospital whatnot. Well, he's got gallstones in his appendix or something, and his kidneys are shutting down. His legs are retaining water, and I'm scared for him because he's, doing, he's showing the same symptoms that my dad had. Babe. Remember what I told you? My dad's kidney shut down from the stroke yeah. of the liver and shit, and his piss and shit kept building up in his chest, yeah. and that's what eventually killed him. Like that, I'm afraid. Like this is what's happening to my dudes. Like, and he walked over and he was like, "Rodriguez, help me." And I'm like, "What's up, bro?" He was like, "Help me walk over and push this button, bro, so I get help." So I help him walk over. He pushed the button and lay down, and that's when they locked the whole jail down. We just got out like two minutes ago. Yeah. I just. I mean, did they? I did they take him? Well, he was supposed to have surgery. They, they took him to the hospital like a week and a half ago. The doctors at the hospital, Medina County Hospital, told him he had to have surgery. The fucking jail pushed it off. Uh, they, they they stopped it. They didn't even take him for the surgery. They now he's going to have to do emergency surgery. Yeah, I think his gallstones or whatever are getting so big in his appendix or whatever, and I think that's like about to bust on him. Right, that's not good because I had my, I had, uh, my gallstones in the Remember when uh, Cousin Greg passed his, you know what I mean? But like you said, if they get too big, they have to do that surgery to take it out. Right. That's what I have to do. That's what I got to first. Well, we, got, uh, we had 1594. At, you hear me, beautiful? Mm -hmm. We had 1594 at the beginning of this phone call. And uh, so we got enough to rock the whole weekend. And I should still have like two or three dollars for Monday. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, I had talked to uh, one of my buddies. He's in the cubicle next to me too. He's an old dude. I was like, hey man, I said, if I need a phone call, can I buy one from you? He was like, yeah, yeah, because I'll just give you one. I said, no, nah. I said, me and my family, you know, we buy our way. He was like, Rodriguez, you're cool, but he was like, so whatever, you know, as long as it's a 21 cent phone call, I'll give you a five dollar phone call. I was like, I appreciate it, man. Oh, look, look. Oh, when me and Mariana was playing in the room, right? Mar, uh -huh. she picked up and sometimes I just say Mariana. When me and Mar was moving the TV, kind of, and then, you know, backed it up because Mar wasn't able to help me lift up the TV. Yeah. So, next time we moved the TV back, and remember, the little monkey you gave me from Florida was behind the thing. Yeah. All you heard was the little monkey screaming, like, help me. Because the TV was sleeping. <laughs> I said, oh, hell no. Hell no. Because it was, you know, like when it hangs on the light, so I moved it. And right. I put a nail and I put it right here next to the uh, window, the front window. Mm -hmm. So next thing you know, all you heard was the monkey. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And then I got a look. And it looked like the monkey was saying, help me, help. <laughs> Where y'all at upstairs? Yeah, we're all in our in uh, in our room up here. I'm sorry, though, babe. I should have never spent that fucking seventeen dollars on that pizza. Like for real, I'm mad. Like for real, for real. That was the shittiest pizza, babe. Like yeah, I'd rather have Giorgio's than that pizza, beautiful. I, I wrote a grievance on their ass, for real. Yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yes, sir. Huh? Oh, Marcia, did your tooth pain go away? <laughs> did my what? Your tooth pain go away? A little bit. It said, yeah, a little bit. Oh, she, so she said, so she was having your pain then? <laughs> Probably. She could use some of the oral gel just a little bit, though. She said she's going to kill both of us. She said I, she's been having my craving, the weirdest thing, and then your pain. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh. I don't know if I'm in trouble or not. Why? Me? Because of the boxers they gave me are too small, so I asked the sergeant to get me a pair of boxers. And uh, they gave me a pair, you know, that fit me. But the CEO just told me when I'm done on the phone to go talk to him. So I don't know if I'm going to get lost of privileges, MOP, or not. I don't know what's going on. Hey, Mr. Spaghetti, am I in trouble or something? Yes, sir. He said no. So I don't I don't know. Because the one, you know, I wear two X's, babe, on the streets. They got me wearing a large. You, you know what I mean? First and then call me back? No, because there's like five people waiting on the phone real quick. And you know what I mean? I at least want to finish my phone call with my wife. You know what I mean? I love you, my sexy soulmate. Then, do you know that they, that stupid fucking bitch at the fucking legal research didn't even fucking give me the fucking uh, child support papers? All that fucking time, I'm trying to argue with her, you know what I mean, and, and, and explain myself, and she's arguing back. She never even gave me the fucking pamphlet for the fucking child support laws. And the dude that went, the, the lawyer dude that went with me, he was like trying to explain to her too, you know, my situation. She just wasn't hearing it because there was like five of us in there, and I was the last one to get to talk to her. You know what I mean? And she was just like, "Oh well, they're like your your guys is Rover, which is you know the deputy that comes to take us back to the pod. She, he's already on his way. You guys gotta leave. You gotta leave. You gotta leave." And I was like, "What to go grab the papers?" And she just snatched them and put them in her folder. And I'm like, "What the fuck?" So I had to tell the sergeant. The sergeant's like, "Well, you gotta fill out a kite." So that way, next week you can go. I was like, man, I don't even want to talk to her next week. I just want my law, my child support, child support laws. I'll go back to the pod and study it myself. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. he, he was like, well, why didn't you get them? I was like, I didn't get them. For some fact is, you know, I was told I, we had to go. Once the, once the deputy got there, I had to go. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, I just won $4, well, $3 on the public table. You know that? Should I put, yeah, I put Boo Boo and Bubba in here too. So ain't nobody waking me up at no 6.30 in the morning. Hell yeah, I would have just say hell yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I like that there, Bubba's in our bed, and Boo Boo right there on the mattress right next to me over here by her bed. I was like, hell no, ain't no, everybody is in my reach. Do me a so favor, please. Coming around. Huh? Right. Please do me a favor, my sexy, sexy soulmate. Please, them mm-hmm. fucking them uh them cards that little Chris left over and them glass cases. Please put them in the closet because remember when I started looking up the cards, every card that I looked up was like five dollars a piece. Mhm. They're worth money, you know what I mean. And I'm probably gonna end up selling them when we get out, when I get out, just to help you know make us you know some money. But please put them in the closet somewhere up. You know, on top of the boxes or, or something, so their little asses can't touch them. No, so, nobody's been touching them except I just touched them today when I was wiping down the dresser. Okay, okay. I miss you, my sexy soulmate. I miss you too, my sexy soulmate. And I hope you know. Give me a oh, the kitty too. Oh. Do you lock all the doors? Yep. Even the front door handle and shit too? Mm-hmm. All the windows locked downstairs? Yep. Okay, and the heater's still on 83? Yep. Okay, I want you to go with one of y'all, run down there and turn it up to 85 or 86, babe. It's getting down to 18 degrees tonight. The news was just on. It's hot down there. It's hot? It gets real, real hot down there. 
Okay, well then just leave it on 83. I mean, what, what, all I'm telling you, beautiful, is like you put it on whatever you guys are comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want my babies freezing. My soul made my babies. They don't need to freeze. Flat out. A little heater in our room. Okay. All right, sexy. I'm just making sure. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't want my baby cold. Like I love you. Well, I mean, that little heater gets our gets this room hot. So we don't even sleep with cover. You guys keep it on low or high? <laughs> she, we have to end up putting it on low because it gets so hot. <laughs> I miss my family, man. This bitch better let me hurt the fuck out. Damn. Um, what I did was, with our mattress and stuff, I took the shot, the uh, shot mat around the edges of the mattresses and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Okay. I just want to tell you, Miss Rodriguez, that I love you, and I'm very proud and honored that you chose to spend the rest of your life with me and make me your husband and soulmate. Because I know you could have chose anybody in this world, and I'm very, very honored that you chose me. And like I told you the other night, you took the place of my grandmother, my mama, and that was the that was the best woman in my life. And you are that place now, right? I don't want nobody else, Miss Rodriguez. I trust you wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. And like I said, I brag about my wife. I know my wife, my soulmate, ain't out there being a hoe, ain't out there talking to no other dudes. And I know my wife, just like she told me earlier, if she got it, I got it. If I got it, she got it. And that's, that's all I've ever wanted in my life. And I love you and thank you. I love you. I love you. Tell my babies, I love them, and next week when I send this envelope out with the tattoos on it, with their names in that, I want to know and tell them, I want them to draw me some pictures, and I want them to write me a letter about what they think, how daddy's tattoo is going to be with their name on it. Okay? Dad said he left y'all, Mrs. John. Next week he's going to send out a letter that's got a picture of uh, tattoos. Okay, mm-hmm. with you guys. And I want them to draw me a picture and write a letter to me. Dad said, draw him a picture and write him a letter. Mark said, she said, give me a hug. She said, what? That was Mimi. She said, give me a hug. Uh, (laughs) Give her a hug for me. Tell her dad or love her. Hey, put me on speakerphone real quick. Okay, hold on. Uh, Mia Diamond, that that angel, I love you. Boo boo, my mom, my mom, daddy loves you guys. Boo boo's the only one that's knocked out. Uh. When I went to give them their medicine, right? Tell me mm-hmm. why he took them closer to the closest, Lisa Bubba. <laughs> I love you guys. Me and I mean, I love you too, buddy. You be a good boy for daddy. You're the, you're the man of the house, okay? You got to hold it down until daddy gets there. That don't mean be acting stupid and doing dumb shit but boo be doing, okay? You got to teach him right from wrong. Good. Just not telling Mar and me, no. <laughs> me and I mean, that, that angel, I love you. Me a diamond, I love you. Shagita, Bavita, Bovita, I miss you, girl. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't, Felicia. <laughs> y'all do know I'm kicking all y'all asses when I get home. WWE style. Daddy ain't playing. <laughs> I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to get home to you guys. Oh, uh, you heard me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, you guys watch some new movies? Yeah. Not nothing new. We got to turn them. Yeah, one minute left. Ah, uh, it just said one minute left. Fuck. I hate this shit. I love you guys, and I'll call you in the morning, okay? What time is it, babe? 958. 958? You heard Lauren? She's like, you got one minute left. I know, it just said that. I love you guys. Sleep with angels on your pillows, and daddy will be home soon. I'm doing my best, and I love you guys. I miss my family. I love you guys. I love you, my beautiful soulmate. Fuck, oh, man. I love you guys. I'll talk to you in the morning, okay? Tomorrow in the morning. All right, love you, beautiful. God bless and good night. Thank you for using. Bye, beautiful. I love you. After the beat, please. Say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Thank you. You have eleven dollars and eighty-two cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from an inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1 to refuse this free call. Thank you for using Secure us. You may start the conversation now. Good morning, my gorgeous soulmate. Good morning. You okay? Yeah, the phone was having the poor signal thingy again, so I was like, let me not say it. I'm going to just hang it up, because if I don't hear nothing, then that's when I just press the end, so that way it doesn't, you know, take no time or nothing. Well, no, it doesn't, it doesn't start taking any time until it says thank you. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know that. That's why I was just like, well, I didn't get no signal at all. I didn't hear nothing at all. I was like, fuck this thing. You were getting Sancho out of the house telling him to be quiet? <laughs> I love you. I know they ain't gorgeous. I'm just teasing. He loves you too. What are you doing? No, the kids just got the cereal. Me don't like cereal for nothing. She's like me. I don't. I don't. I don't know why. I just don't like it. I'll eat it once in a while, you know, after my medicine or something. But you better get your bowl. You're going to have to get the heater on tonight, Miss Rodriguez. It's cold. It's going to get down to 21 degrees tonight. So you're going to have to keep sleep with that heater on like 80 or something. They said tonight and tomorrow is uh, going to be down to like 21. The high today is only going to be 39. The high tomorrow is only going to be 32. Wow. And tomorrow we're supposed to get snow. Well... Not out here in Medina, but you guys are going to get lake effect snow right there by you guys. They said anywhere between a trace to like almost three inches. Wow. Yeah. That's why I was like, fuck. I was like, damn it. And when is the uh, inspection? I don't know. Still haven't got nothing to do now. I don't know. Maybe because of the contract being so late. I don't know if it'll, you know, be around this time, but who knows? I still got to wait for it to be now. Uh, yeah, you're right. I I don't think it'll be. Um, you might not even get an inspection because remember it's month to month. You know what I mean? It's not a whole a year contract, or is it? No, it's a contract that started in July though, and so oh. you know, regular time. Who is that, Tatiana? Yeah, now. <laughs> Get down! Tell her to shut the fuck up. Damn. Screaming like she fucking dying with her goofy little white ass. Right. If you guys were sitting there eating your damn cereal. What happened? Mimi went over playing Debo. 
Huh? Mimi went over playing Debo. Booba moves his bowl of cereal and Mimi was going to get into it. <laughs> That's my Mia Diamond. <laughs> she said, I will bust your ass. Give me this. Mm-hmm. She reminds me of her mama. No, this was her daddy. <laughs> Get that off of her now. Boo Boo, you are doing so much shit to just aggravate me. Get that off of her. I'm sorry you're going through this, like, I feel like a piece of shit. Like, I can hear them yell and cry and scream. Oh, my God, it's so fucking aggravating. I feel bad because it's like, when are we ever going to be able to spend fucking Thanksgiving and Christmas as a family, like, past two years? I mean, it's just depressing and it's fucking killing me. But it also brings more hate and rage towards towards Kathy because it's like, bitch, you did this. Like, it's your fucking fault. I'm here. And the crazy thing is she gets that little kiss on holidays. You right. can't even be with none of us for holidays. Right. That's the part that fucking kills me. Like, I can't. But I, I knew this. I knew from the get-go. That's why I told you, babe, you can, you know, you can believe what you want to. I'm not going to say nothing to bad mouth that bitch, but you're going to see for yourself it's not me. It's her. And look, lo and behold, you see for yourself it's not me. It's her. And just like you said, the bitch is jealous of you. She doesn't want me with you guys. She wants it to be me, her, and little Chris. No, bitch, that will never happen. Ever, 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 ever. Smack her in her mouth, babe. God damn, that's all these fucking kids do is scream. I wrote you another letter last night, and uh, I'll write you another one here in a little bit, and put it in the mailbox tonight, so that way you'll get I just had Mark put the school drop off your letters in the postal thingy. So I'll probably get that Monday or Tuesday, and... You'll probably get mine. Like, um, I don't know. Did we get mail on Saturday or something? Yeah, no. Oh, Miss Esther, did we get mail on Saturday this year? No? No, the deputy said we don't get mail on Saturday. They hold it and pass it out on Monday. Oh. Right. So you mailed it out today. I'll probably get it Monday. Which is through with me. I don't give a shit. I get letters from my wife and kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember my buddy JoJo was telling you we were fucking around last night? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop it, Clyde. Fucking killed me with that cry baby shit. Her and Boo Boo. Right. I mean, he's baby. Was like, Huh? Mimi's the baby, and you can barely hear her. Right, right. She looks at like they were like they was party. Smack her, please, babe. Tell her shut up. What? Over here now. Time out. Or, or yeah, now. put her in the corner. So that's what whole, got? The whole time we've been on the phone, that's all you hear is her and Boo Boo screaming. Damn coffee is strong as hell. I shouldn't have made this strong. Strong as a cup of coffee. <sighs> no, but uh, <laughs> JoJo's like, hey, I'm gonna do this. I was like, what? He's like, when you get on the phone, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna you're on the background. You better have your wife order my package and put money on my book, so we gonna fuck you up, Rodriguez. I started laughing. I said, my wife's gonna laugh your laugh her ass off through the phone. He's like, why? I said, because my wife knows I ain't no punk. Ain't nobody going to extort me. He said, damn. <laughs> so we both started kind of laughing. I said, yeah, you'd like to pick on someone else, my nigga. He was like, no, but you don't think she will believe it? I said, my wife knows me. <laughs> ain't nobody going to be able to sit here and make me be a punk. That ain't going to happen. The only way that's going to happen is if I'm dead. He was like, damn. Well, who else can we get, Rodriguez? <laughs> <laughs> He was like, yeah, I'm going to wait till you get on the phone. And I'm like, you better have my package. Your, your, your wife better have that money on my books by the day. I said, my wife's going to laugh. 
<laughs> she's gonna laugh her ass off on that one. He's like, for real? I said, my wife knows me, bro. I'm not no punk. I ain't backing down from nobody. Who's that? Boo boo. Tell Boo Boo he about to get the best ass whooping he ever got. He fucking keeps it up. You know how much they charge for a haircut? What'd you say, baby? You got Can you get a haircut? Yeah, but they charge $13 in here. You know what I was thinking? You know what I was thinking? Babe, every time you go to the nurse, they charge you $5. If you have to see the doctor here, they charge you $10. Now that I'm sentenced, if I wanted my prescriptions to come here, they charge me $10 a month for my prescriptions. Everything in this jail is based about money. If you need ibuprofen, they're going to charge you three bucks. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is revolved around money in this, in this little damn town. Yep, as soon as you put money out of your books, they take it directly out. Just remember how I told you I owed seven eighty eight. First time you put money on there, they deducted it right off the bat. And then when I had, I had ordered four eighty eight for getting that uh, indigent pack, they took it right out of the money instantly. That's why I was like, fuck that, I ain't ordering nothing else. I'll just save the money for phone time, and if babe wants to give me some food, I'll let babe order it. And last night was the cutoff for the pizza, so thank you very much for letting me order some pizza, Miss Rodriguez. <laughs> just a couple of dudes got up thinking they were going to order some pizza, and they got there, and they, they cut it like I was on a little kiosk, like the little like ATM thing. <laughs> The button is, is not highlighted no more. It's like blanked out, you know, so you can't click on it and order anything no more. The cutoff was yesterday. Cut, cut off. Huh? <coughs> cut off. Yep. The dude was like, damn, all this shit. I'm glad I got mine in. I got mine in at 9.58 last night. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I love you, my safety soulmate. <laughs> And I was thinking, too, just to help pass time, there's another, uh, there's like a couple programs in here. There's a GED program, and, you know, I've already got my GED, but they said you could take it again. And uh, if I take it again and get really, really high scores on my test scores, they count as college credits. I could earn up to 70 college credits just being in here taking that class. And I was like, for real? I was like, well, what if you got a GED already? And they were like, well, that doesn't matter. You're just earning college credits towards, you know, whatever. And I was like, shit, I might just do that. Like, And then they have uh, another program called AA and then another one called NA, Narcotics Anonymous. So I was like, well, fuck, I might sign up for the fucking Narcotics Anonymous. So that way, if I do get to go back in front of the judge. Exactly, exactly. So they could be like, well, damn, he's in there making the most of his time. He's not just, not just sitting around, you know what I mean? And you're doing the, um, that G-E one thing. and AP, yep. Well, I was talking to that lawyer dude again. That's good for you to do, so that way it looks good. Right, yep. Um, that you're and that it's not starting problems and causing any issues or anything like that. That's the one you have to do. Right, yep. Um. Uh, was about that was the dude that helped me fill out the motion. He told me that the motion that we sent in is, you know, I mean, pretty much straightforward to the T. It was like perfect. He was like, if she denies you, then we'll file another motion and ask for you to be put out, you know, house arrest. And I was like, shit, that's what's up. He was like, I don't know, bro. He was like, everything, you know, you had me put in that letter. He was like, I believe you. He was like, and not to mention you got the numbers, the doctor's number, your cousin's number. He was like, so we're going to call on both of them to verify everything you're telling the truth about. He was like, and once they verify, I say, hey, yeah, his wife is high risk. You know, hey, yeah, she is probably going to go on bed rest next month. And You know what I mean? And he does got a job, but if he keeps staying in jail, he ain't going to have a job. But he told me, he was like, I could wanted you to get a taste of jail. She just wanted you to go to jail for a little bit and realize, hey, motherfucker, if you don't keep paying, this is where the fuck you're going to be. I was like, okay, well, I learned my lesson. I've been in here almost a month. <laughs> right. And it's crazy because, you know, on Monday, I'll be 16 weeks. Oh, 
see. I, I, I thought it was 16 or 17. That's why I, I, I knew it was one of them. Next month, on Monday. I love you, my gorgeous old mate. The appointment will be able to find out what we're having. The very next one? Yep. Oh. I love you. I watch you be a little boy, I'm telling you. Now, would you be mad at me or upset at me? Because I've been really, 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 really thinking about it. Like, I really do want another Christopher Michael Rodriguez Jr. And if it's going to be a junior, it'll be the third. Because I'm not going to let Kathy tell me. I, 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 I told you. I just wrote in the letter about that, too. Well, what'd you say? You want the same thing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. We'll make him a third. Who gives a fuck what either she's got to say or what he's got to say? If he wants to be there, he'll be ah, Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we done did our part trying to get him to be a part of our uh, a part of us, but, I mean, he's so have one minute left. left. Exactly. I love you. We said we had one minute left. At the beginning of this call, we had $11 and some change. Do you want me to call you back? I'll call you back. Or do you want me to save the rest for later tonight? Um, they want us to be able to say, um, just I guess they was the lady. Well, you know what? Well, when we have... hang up, when you hang up, I'm gonna call you right back, so that way I can tell you what the balance is left. Okay? So answer the phone. I'm gonna call you right back. Yeah. When we hang up, I'm gonna call you right back. Answer the phone. So I can tell you I love you, love you again, and I'll tell you the balance of how much we got left, okay? All right. All right, I love you, my sexy soulmate. You too, my sexy soulmate. Oh, that's my sexy babe. You're mine when I get home. Oh, yeah. Thank you for using. I love you. you. Goodbye. After the beat, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have 30 cents. This call will cost 21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. You have one minute left. Good morning, I love you. Good morning, I love you. And return the money for my pizza because I filed that grievance and I just bought a ten dollar phone card. So in about ten fifteen minutes when it loads on the phone card, I'm gonna call you right back. Okay. So you got your money back for me? I got you, yep. Daddy. I love you too, buddy. Please be good boy for mommy, okay? But I just went and checked the kiosk. We got an hour and a half out from ten to eleven thirty. So I'm gonna go run and jump in the shower right. real quick while the money loads on the phone, and I'm gonna call you as soon as I get out the shower, okay? Mm. I love you, my sexy soulmate. I love you too. Huh? I love you too. Oh, yeah, just that, huh? Yeah, I love you too. I sexy heard of Jimmy so much. What are you guys watching? I'm watching uh, Unspoken. Ah, uh, scary movie. Thank you for using Curious. Goodbye. After the beat, please. Say United States. United States. After the beat, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have ten dollars and three cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold.
Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free... Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, sexy? Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm playing with my mom. My mom's school. Yeah. Listen, hey, so now I'm stuck with the three rugrats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, really, four. The one that's bouncing around in your belly. Yeah. I gotta call steps and see if I make my appointment. I've been feeling like little light contractions. Uh oh. Yeah, you gotta keep me informed with that so that way I can send my furlough out and uh, get down there if anything. But it's, it's still way too early. But it should have been, I don't know, I'm gonna Google it later. Cause they're called uh, breast and hip. Contractions. Mm -hmm. And since they're high risk, they're just going to have to monitor or they'll probably do like a stress test. Okay. But that's why like, I've been just trying to take it, take it easy today because normally I'd be up and about cleaning and, and I just don't feel like doing it today. Well, you probably wore yourself out doing all that damn cleaning over the weekend and that. Right. Well, I'll get to call you one more time today, Miss Rodriguez. Because uh, at four, 4 o'clock when we eat dinner, I'm going to smash my dinner in five minutes so that way I can run and jump on the phone with you until 4.30. No, so then that's letting you let out twice? Huh? You guys get let out twice? No. Like, you're, you're, you get let out every time you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a half hour. And in that mm -hmm. half hour, you get to do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? So what I'm mm -hmm. going to do is, as soon as lunch gets here, I'm going to hurry up and eat lunch. And if you want, I'll call you back before 11.30. That way I can come to you for a few more minutes. And then when dinner time comes at 4 o'clock, they let us out. I'm going to eat like within five minutes, and then I'm going to run and jump on the phone until 4.30. And then after that, I can't talk to you the rest of the day. Which fucking sucks. So you'll be on lockdown for the rest of the evening? Yep. And I got a, I got a paper from the sergeant last night. Guess what the fuck they locked me down for? Here, it wasn't just the hooch. Guess what they locked me down for? No. Two pieces of bread and six butters. Locked you down for? Yeah. And they locked my buddy Kip down, the one I told you I go to church with, Bible study with. They locked him down for 48 hours for having an extra blanket. What, they try to get you down for, uh, like you were stealing or something? I don't know, beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to mail the fucking paper home to you, too. Like, I I, I looked at it this uh -huh. morning, like, what the fuck? What the fuck that you're doing? Huh? Oh, that's not going to interfere with the time that you're doing. No, no, no. I already asked, uh... The uh, CO, he was like, uh, if it was if I was on lockdown, then that would add more jail time or something like that, you know, and it would look bad in front of the judge's eyes. But the judge won't even know about this. This is just a loss of privileges. I was like, what does that mean? He was like, well, imagine this being a speeding ticket. All you got to do is pay your speeding ticket. He was like, versus you getting into an accident and we have to take you to jail. That's what a lockdown is. And I was like, whatever. But yeah, for a fucking two pieces, for some bread and fucking six butters, that's what I got locked down for. And, like, I don't even understand. Like I told him, I was like, man, I was like, everybody saves butters. We put butters in our fucking ramen noodles. Like, what are you talking about? Right. And they were like, get the bread? I was like, I make sandwiches with the ramen noodles. I don't have money to get tortilla wraps. So if I want to put some little bit of chips in my ramen noodles on the fucking bread and make a sandwich out of it, like, how is that a crime? Right. They were so petty, like I told you. They locked Kip down, my buddy down, for having an extra blanket. They locked this old man down for having two sugars. They locked this other old man down. He had like thirty something butters. Like I don't, I don't understand. Like well, I don't get it, babe. I really don't. Like they just came in being nitpicking like a motherfucker. Hmm. 
and they did it because they found that fucking hooch. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, so you're going to punish everybody over there, something that we didn't do? <laughs> fucking retarded, man. I already had to talk to a sergeant to fight it. Like, fuck that. Like, I'm, I'm not on this shit, man. Being petty over fucking two pieces of bread and some butter, babe. Like, come on, man. Like, that's crazy. Like, that doesn't seem like they're so petty, petty for real. Any tiny little fucking thing. Babe, I swear to you. I swear to you, I swear. Let me try mail you the paper home. You're going to look at the paper and be like, are you fucking kidding me? They gave my husband 48 hours for this. Like... Like, all of his them being petty as fuck. Like, I swear to you. And to me, it makes me feel like they wanted one of us to snitch on whoever made the hooch. Like, I'm sorry, I ain't no snitch. Never had, never will be. But so you got to fuck with us? And, and oh, we got two pieces of bread and some butter, so we're going to lock you down. <laughs> like, what? Hey, are you fucking kidding me? No, what's crazy is there was people that had more shit than I did, and they didn't even get locked down, babe. And them are the ones that are the regulars. They know them. They're familiar. That's what I'm saying. They got favoritism. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, my wife. And I even told this CEO that's here. I was like, well, at lunchtime, I was like, I bet not have anybody yelled at me. He was like, oh, no, you got until 11.30, so you're good. I was like, oh, okay, well, then at dinner, when we're eating dinner, I'm going to go eat my dinner fast as fuck so I can run jump on the phone. He was like, I don't think you can do that. I said, why not? We get a half hour to do what we want to do for that half hour. That's our meal time. And he was like, well, yeah, you got a point. I said, okay, bet. That's all I need to hear. Fucking bullshit, man. I done slept as much as like, I couldn't sleep for shit. I kept tossing a turn. I've been up since like 4 o'clock. Just laying there mm-hmm. thinking about you and the kids. Yeah. When they were pissing me off even more, like I swear to you, babe, I'm telling you, the devil is alive. The devil is fucking with me. They took two more people out of my pod last night. They took them to West. Wow. <laughs> like, I, man, I'm telling you, the devil is trying to beat me down and beat me down. Like, this shit's crazy. I just don't fucking get it. And what makes me mad was that. I don't know if they was here before me, because they just got brought to my pod from a different pod, you know what I mean, from north or south. So mm-hmm. I, don't know if they were, I don't know if they were on the list before me or not, but still the point, like, come on, man, like, I can't be that fucking far down on the list. But how many, can you say how many people are on the list? No, they said they can't tell me how many, but they said that there's a lot of people in front of me. Because uh, you end up writing a kite on the little kiosk, the little machine, to the sergeant. And then the sergeant, whenever he reads you, he gets back to you. He tells you why or when, you know what I mean? So that's what I asked him. I'm like, what's up, man? When do I get to go? He's like, well, Rodriguez, there's a lot of people in front of you, you know. And that's the first thing that popped in my head. I was like, that's bullshit because me and Matt Mink filled out our fucking, you know, request to go to West at the same time. And he's been over there for a week. Mm-hmm. Shit's aggravating. What's Mimi in there doing? I'm watching a movie. <laughs> What's my sexy soulmate doing? I don't know. I love you. I love you too. I miss you, gorgeous. I miss you. I miss you more. He's over there playing next to the in the place. <laughs> She's probably thinking, yeah, mommy, you let me out this motherfucker playpen and it's on and popping. <laughs> uh-huh. She probably thinking. She'll, she'll run around, she'll get up on, she'll get up on the bed and go right back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like how she goes and flies off the air like, do you see me, daddy? No, she was going to hide too, like, shoot. You're going to bring it over and you think you're going Unless she starts jiggling. She says that. She points up at the TV like with her hand open and says, you see this? That's a new thing. Like, it looks so cute because she got her hand open. And then she just, like, puts this towards the TV and says, you see this? Hell no. How many? I was surprised (laughs) that dude Kevin that got a pizza with me. 
he checked his uh, commissary first. And uh, he was like, oh, shit, they gave me back my money for the pizza. He's like, where would I get that? And I was standing right behind him trying to open my eyeballs. He was like, man, check your account, see if they gave you your money back. And I got on there, and I was like, sixteen ninety eight. I was like, oh, shit, let me buy a phone card real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when I, had, I knew I had that 30 cents on there, it was going to say one minute. I was like, I got to hurry up to tell babe. I'm going to go take a shower, let the money load, then I'm going to call you right back. <laughs> I love you, sir. You watch, I'm going to mail that fucking uh, paper that they gave me inside of my bunk while I was sleeping. I'm going to mail it to you. So you can even read it. Be like, are you serious? <laughs> Babe's going to be like, what the fuck? Like, that's so funny. Food is food. Right. Way, it's there. I'm not the one buying it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm baffled. Like, what can you do? What can you do with bread and butter, babe? Besides make a sandwich. <laughs> and eat it. And that's what I always do, babe. That's the crazy. And here goes the even fucked up part about it, okay? I even told these motherfuckers what I had in my box before they even started searching the sales, searching the, uh, the cubicles. Mm-hmm. I told one of the CEOs, I was like, hey, I said, I don't want to get in trouble. I said, but uh, real talk, I got a couple pieces of bread and some butter in my thing. They were like, oh, you're okay, Rodriguez. We're not looking for that. You ain't going to get in trouble. And then fucking an hour later, they hit me with that fucking, oh, you're an LOP. Get to your boat. I'm like, what? I'm like, wait a minute. I told you motherfuckers what I had. How am I an LOP? Like, well, I don't get this. Well, you're not supposed to have bread and butter in your, in your bunk. I was like, are you serious? Yeah. Like, you motherfuckers give us the bread and the butter. But you're not no bread in your bunk at all. Nope. Or no butter or no so sugar. What the fact that it came with bread and you, were, you, can't, you can't take it in the meeting? I'm guessing not, beautiful. <laughs> I'm guessing not. Medina County is acting petty as fuck. The one dude, my neighbor, he asked to talk to a, a sergeant at 6 in the morning. And no sergeant been back here. I asked to talk to a sergeant as soon as they let me out of lockdown at 10. And no sergeant back here. So I know what they're going to do. They're going to come after 11.30. And then, oh, well, you already had your your uh, your uh, hour and a half for the day. No, I didn't. Like, you can't give me a half hour because we automatically get a half hour each time we eat dinner or lunch or breakfast. So how could you include that in our rec time? I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. For real, I can't wait. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. I miss you. I miss you. No, no, I miss you to death. I miss you to death. I got five ninety eight left on the book, so I'm gonna go buy another five dollar phone card so that way it's on the phone. I wasn't grabbing me a pop, but I was like, fuck that, that'd be another thing to try to lock me down for. I love you. I love you. I think I did you. I love you too. Huh? That's how you too. You said so that I miss him. Oh, I miss you guys too. He said, "Love you, Dad." I love you, Dad. I love you too. Dad will be home soon. They can't keep me forever. You heard, baby, the Mimi's waving. Oh, they tell you see this? What's up, Mister? No, you can't. I thought Dunn had it with you. What happened, Stacey? Boo boo. You have one minute left. My little back thing over here. Mm-hmm. You got to write on my couch. Well, I'm going to call you back uh, right after lunch, okay? Because I just said we have one minute left. So I'm going to give you time to get up, get them breakfast, or whatever. It's, you know. Or do you want me to call you right back? No, it's up to you. Do you want me to give you time to get up and get them something to eat? I'm not even getting up yet. I don't even feel motivated today. 
I don't. Oh. I think not. You just got to relax, baby. Take it slow, okay? I love you, my sexy soulmate. I love you too, my sexy soulmate. I'll call you back here in a few minutes, okay? I'm going to go load that other five on my phone account. Mm-hmm. I love you. All right, I love you, sexy. Mm-hmm. Thank you, producing. Secure. I love you. Goodbye. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Thank you. You have eight dollars and twenty-eight cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press 6. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press if you would like to permanently block your number from Rick, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. I love you. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Everybody's going on lockdown. I don't know how long, so. so if I don't get because if I don't fucking alcohol. Brother, shut that shit off. You hear me? What? Huh? I said they found alcohol in the pond, so they're shaking, they shook everybody down, locked everybody down. I don't know if it's just for tonight, I don't know if it's for two days, three days, like, I don't know. I'm sorry, it's for right now. Yeah, I'm dead serious, man. And they just called lockdown, that's why I was trying to speak on the phone. Yeah, I know, I just heard I love you. Love you, too. I didn't do nothing, so it wasn't me. Just know that, you understand? Like I'm telling you the truth. I love you. I'm going to try and call you tonight. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully it's just for tonight. They like us out, and hopefully we get off tomorrow morning. But I don't know. Mom, just give me a call. Are you mad at me? No. What's the matter? No. Please yeah. tell me real quick. Are you mad at me? No. All right, I love you. That's all that's all. I love you, sexy. Bye, my gorgeous soulmate. I love you, sexy. Bye, my sexy soulmate. Love you. I love you, too. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye, beautiful. After the beat, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have $10 and 13 cents. This call will cost... 24 yeah, cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. Thank you for using secure. You may start the conversation now. Hi, my gorgeous soulmate. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? No, I can't. How are you doing, beautiful? Oh. Okay, I just so sore. Yesterday I took a slip, so. Took a what? I took a slip and fell. Oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah, I feel my back is feeling like sore. Where'd you fall? In the bathroom. You little ones put water on the floor, and I didn't notice that there was water on the floor, and I just took a slip. 
Would you land on your stomach or something? No, my I landed on my back. I can't. I can barely even remember because so when I looked and he said down downstairs, I had a knot on my arm. So when I fell, it was just like a quick when I fell and landed, I hit my back and then it just was like a whiplash. Let me guess, the boys, huh? Huh? Taxi and boo boo. Did you get my other letter yet or no? The one that's got like four of them in there? No, uh, what envelope did you get? The one with the kids' name? Mm, yeah, that was the last one I got. Okay, I got nothing else after that? Uh-uh. I didn't check the mail yet, so. Yeah, if it comes today, it'll probably be there tomorrow. Well, I'm mailing out two different letters for you today, so. Okay. So you should get those next week. Did you already uh, send Miss Kingler her letter? I'm still trying to finish the letter. Trying to figure out how I'm awarded. Because you know, we all have to. Okay. Huh? Guess what? What? Your husband's getting a new court date. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> so th- it wasn't denied? Nope. Good. The motion, the motion was filed. That's when I came out a copy of my uh, court document. And I asked a couple what? people around, and they said, well, well they said that's a good thing, my green. So I said, well, how you know? And they said, because it was, uh, you know, the fact that it says it's filed means you're going to come up with a new court date for you. Well, I was like, are you serious? And everybody was like, yeah, but if they didn't want, if they didn't want it, they would have even said motion denied on your docket. So I was like, are you serious? You're like, yeah, fuck with me. And uh, they didn't like to help me fill it out. He was like, no, bro, that's good. They can do right now. They're trying to figure out when they're going to squeeze you into her court date. And I was like, for real? And they were like, yeah, so just keep messing with the CEOs, you know, next week. It probably won't be next week because it's Thanksgiving. But I'm shooting. Yeah, I'm shooting for at least the end of this month or sometime next month, like beginning of the next month, first week or two or something maybe. Right. Everybody, everybody keeps telling me the fact that the motion says it was filed means that's a good thing because normally if, they, if the judge didn't want to hear it, it would say motion denied. I'm like, it's on my doctor. You know, and it don't say that. It says motion right, denied. So she's giving you the, another chance to, you know, to speak. Yeah. And the good thing is, is um, I'm already halfway with my my classes. So, no, so if I don't go to, you know, which I probably won't go to court next week, you know, and I, honestly, I don't think it'll be, you know, November, but I think it'll be sometime in December right. before Christmas. <laughs> and if I can, if they do it the second or third week of uh, December, I'll be done with my classes. I'll graduate. I'll have my certificate and everything. Which will be better. Well, because when you go to court. Right, exactly. Exactly. I love you. I love you too. You got excited when I told you that, huh? <laughs> yeah. I did too, trust me when I see that. I was it's like, like my heart started pounding fast. Well, they already let a couple of dudes out today. They let one dude out like uh, about a month and a half early. So I'm hoping they do the same thing with me. Well, listen to this. My brother went for sentencing October 24th, day before you got locked up. And guess what? They gave him five years. Really? Yep. Wow. Ain't that what he wanted, though? Nah. Technically, they want. They were going and shooting for anything under five years. Mommy. But that's. And then I said our cousin Anthony, the one who was joining in with them, yeah. which I don't understand. Hello, move. I can't hear Dad. And um, I guess he had some other violent charges on him or something. He only got four years. Wow. I said, I guess that's what snitching gets you, right? Because he, was snitched, he snitched on the brothers. He snitched on the Latin King. Wow. He's still no, going to be a marked man when he goes. Huh? I said, your cousin's still going to be a marked man when he goes, so. Right. 
because words are already around. Right, right. How the hell did you put that much on the books, beautiful? Well, God was looking out for me and said, this is what we needed, so. And you got, you got it today? Come on, Tati! Oh, my God, move. Y'all kids are getting on my nerves. Go. I don't want to hear that crying. I'm tired of hearing that crying. Right. Get the shut up. Turn, get her ass in the fucking toilet right now. I got you. You want to cry like that? You go upstairs. Yep. Right, that's what I thought. I don't play around with Boo Boo no more. When he wants to cry, cry and throw a spit like that, I send him straight upstairs. That's my baby. And I, and you know what I tell him? Because babe, I can't, I can't deal with the yelling and screaming no more. It's just, it, it's just gotten to me so bad. I tell him, take your ass upstairs, throw your temper tantrum upstairs, and when you're done, then you can come back down. And you know what he said when he's done doing the throwing his temper tantrum? Mommy, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> That's what he tells me. Well, it ain't no rush, you know what I mean? Because like I said, I don't think it's going to happen next week. But if you can get the letter to Miss Kimberly in sometime next week, you know, in the mail okay. to her, I think that would go mm-hmm. and help a long way, too, you know what I mean? And then you leave yeah. the message that you did. Right. I think that helped out, too, you leaving that message, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I love you, beautiful. I love you, too. Well... I wish I could have put more on your books. But, no. you know, I have to get a few things for, Listen you know, the inspection. You don't understand. When I checked it earlier this morning, there was nothing. I was like, all right, went to lockdown after lunch. I said a prayer, got out, played a little bit of, you know, kids basketball. One o'clock lockdown, or, you know, 2.15 lockdown. I was like, all right, you know, I got faith. And then when I got out, I checked, and I was like, whoa. So it takes a, it takes a minute to get over there because it was on there since I want to say about one thirty, one something. Well, see, I checked it at like one fifteen and it wasn't on there, but I went out and played some basketball and it came in at like two ten right before lockout. So I didn't want to keep looking at it, you know what I mean? Keep, you know, like I guess you were saying, stressing myself. Cause I kept telling myself, I said, you know, you're clean. She's got it when you got it, you know, or you got it when she got it. And then I was like. Yeah. Right before lockdown, my check went. I was like, "Oh shit!" So I heard about a ten dollar phone call, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Mm-hmm. So I couldn't wait to call. So like I was watching the clock, like a hawk, like, "Come on, man! Come on, man!" <laughs> <laughs> and I still, but I checked on the fucking thing when we went to court with her. She didn't say I was on intensive probation, did she? She said what? Tell him to get away. Yeah. When we went to court, she, them. Not Go that way. When we went to court, she didn't say nothing about intensive probation, did she? Anything about probation? Hello? Hey. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Now I can. You're yeah. just cutting in and out. I said, when we went to court, when she gave me probation, she didn't say anything about intensive probation, did she? What's that? Intensive probation is worse than regular probation. No. I didn't hear nothing about in whatever that is. Okay, well, she got me on intensive probation. And I which, read, I read, I mean, which, what that means is I'm going to have to call every morning at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to have to call. And check in? Have to go, huh? You got to check in? No, no. I have to call every morning at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning. If they say, yeah, Yo, your name was selected to go take a drug test, I have to go take a drug test that day. And I only got three hours oh, to get so there. you got to do a random drug test. Yeah. And that's where I'm going to figure out when she ever she fucking gives me this court date, I'm going to figure out why. You know what I mean? There was no drug-related charges, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? They just, they just probably want to see that, you know what, since you've been in there, you know, you've been clean and see... If you're gonna mess up, that's all it is. Yeah. They do that. They do it. But I'm hoping not for three years. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be fucking retarded. I don't think. I don't think it will. It it will be for like a certain amount of period of time. 
But if you notice that you're doing good, and you, I think they'll stop that. They'll change the thing to not have to do that. That's what my buddy, uh, the old man, Mr. Wazowski, will give me a card. Because the what night. they're doing is they're just trying. They're just trying to catch you up. That's all it is. Right. And by doing random checks, they'll be like, okay, he doesn't know when we're going to test him, but we're going to test him. You know, just to see. Just to see how quick they can catch you to fuck up. Well, they ain't going to get me to fuck up. I'm cool, man. Um, Mr. Wazowski said they're probably going to do it for like three months, 90 days. Keep me on what's called the Sam's program. And that's the part where I got to call every morning, you know what I mean? Right. He was like, they're only going to make a drug test once a month. He was like, so they're just going to scare you. You know what I mean? That's pretty much what Sam did. They're going to make you call every morning. Then he got a deadline to get there. And I was like, yeah, but I can't be on the Sam's program and come to fuck my battery every day. I don't have a car to ride. He was like, no, 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 bro. He was like, whenever you get released, you tell you either you're going to have to check in here in the diner with the PO. He said, that's when you tell the PO, hey, man, you got to switch me to Cleveland. That's where I live. That's my address. But okay, I have a question. Um, when they do that, can't you do it over here in Cleveland and they'll do it, send it that way? Yes, the result that's over he, there? yes, that's what he told me to do. When I go see the PO oh, here, when I get released, well, it's up to the guy right there when I let me go. That's what he, you know, he was like, most likely they will right. because you live in Cleveland. He was like, but you just got to let your right. PO know, hey, I can't do it out here. I live in Cleveland. Can you ever switch to Cleveland? And then they're going to say, okay, well, you need to report to the Meridian building downtown Cleveland. Okay, cool, no problem. Shit, that's nothing. That's right around the corner. Right. And then you know where the other office is? The other Mm -hmm. office is right next to McCaffrey's. Oh, that's even better. Right. So it's either or. I mean, I don't care. Like I told him, I I just need to switch. He was like, they were about, he was like, trust me, Cleveland's a lot easier than Medina. I said, I know. I said, but I ain't worried about it. I ain't doing shit. He was like, well, just soon as you get released, he was like, well, check in with the PO here in Medina. He was like, and then they're going to say, okay, well, you need to call this number. And I'm like, okay, well, I need my shit switched to Cleveland. I don't have a car, hardship, blah, 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 blah. He was like, well, do it. Right. He was like, well, they're going to, he was like, pretty much like you said, man. They're pretty much waiting to catch me up. Okay, that's all it is. Will you, uh, Write this number down real quick for me, section. If you got a pen by you. Uh, I gotta find a pen. I don't know where any of them are. But <laughs> this all the way upstairs. Give me a. Uh, okay. I love you. Love you too. I miss you. You think you got a pen? Huh? The little one should be better than being good. Oh, well. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I said it's better than being good. Mm, yeah, not as bad, but it's better. What the fuck? You are have one minute left. Uh oh, you have one minute left. I'm going to call you right back since I'm done. You hear me? Uh, yes. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah, brother. I love you, my sexy soulmate. Yeah. Well, I'll let you get time to find the pen or pencil, and I'll call you right All back. Right, All right, I'm going to call you right back. Yeah. I love you. All right, I love you, too. Bye, my sexy soulmate. Bye, my sexy soulmate. <laughs> I love you. After the beep, please say United States. United States. After the beep, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have $50.29. This call will cost $3.11 for the first minute and 36 cents for each additional minute. Plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. If your call is not connected, you will be offered the option to leave a voicemail. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... Hello, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. 
This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press 6. To accept this free call, press 1. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. I love you. Is everything okay? Hey, I love you too. Yeah. What's going on? I've been calling for 30 minutes, babe. I don't let your voicemail and everything. Like, I'm serious. You got me bugging. I didn't get no voicemail. My phone's been acting up. For real, babe? Hello? Hello? The caller has hung up. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous old lady. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous old lady. Say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous old lady. Thank you. You have $33.67. This call will cost $0.21. Cents. Per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... Hello, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. I love you. I'm trying to make this kind of quick so we can save some money because I had $33 at the beginning of this one. Can you hear me? Yeah. Give me that. What? Why you got my stuff? I'm sorry, okay? I don't, I don't want to lose you, babe. Like, I do brag about you, and I, I let it be known all the time. My wife ain't like theirs. My wife will never cheat on me. And even when everybody says, how do you know, how do you know? Hey, boy, I was like, I tell them, well, when you have your soulmate, you just know. And that's what you have, my soulmate. Am I still yours? Yes. For how long? Always and forever. I love you. Did you get my letter yesterday? Uh uh, no. You'll probably get it today. Um, you got a pencil by you, babe? Um, Bubba, can I use one of your color pencils? Mike had me a good little career. Fuck a job, a career. As an electrician. Yeah. Okay. The guy's name is Chris Hankins. And his phone number is 330-321-8367. And it's my buddy Mike. Yes, Chris Hankins. Remember the dude, the lawyer dude that helped me fill the motion out that got accepted by the judge? This is him. Awesome. He is his boss. He, my, uh, he wants to know, well, he, he pretty much wants you to send him a text message or call him if you can or leave him a voicemail and say, hey, Mike is putting you on visit for Sunday at 545. Mike is putting um, did it it was Sunday? Yes, ma'am. At 5.45 p.m. <laughs> tell Mark to so, yeah, smack that, babe. Tell Mark to shut them up. At 5.45? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what book? Oh, you yelling at me? Oh, yeah? Huh. Yeah, thank you, fucking book. Mike said, thank you, babe. I love you, I'm sorry. 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 I'
Who is that screaming? His fucking retarded ass. You. I want to choke the fucking shit out of that kid when I get home. I'm not playing. I'm going to squeeze the fucking voice box out of him. Imagine. Ask Mark how he acts at the fucking store. Oh, my God. Tell him if he screams again, he's going to sit in this fucking room all day. Oh, trust me. That's what he's been doing. I know that, but tell him again right now. Because I'm not going to call back later tonight. Fuck like that. You're going to spend the rest of the day up in your room. Do you hear me? He's not listening. Put him in his room. Show him that you're not fucking playing. Hey, excuse me. Go to the room. How'd you go from playing the game to sitting over here starting stuff? When Tati and Bubba were over here perfectly fine. I love you, beautiful, and I'm sorry for stressing you out, and I'm sorry for accusing you. I know you're not a hoe, and I'm sorry for saying something disrespectful about my mother-in-law. I love you, and it is me and you and the kids versus the world. And I'm not going to let Kathy win. What? And you know what was going through my head? Mm-hmm. Why did Kathy put her address now? Under Medina County, uh, oh, I forgot to like, tell you. I forgot to tell you. This is why I was. This is why I was so excited to talk to you last night. Listen to me, please. Remember how I told you I'm gonna get a new court date, right, for that motion? The judge granted me my DNA test. Did really? I don't have to pay for nothing. It says court ordered DNA test. And I bet she got in trouble because she didn't report her recent address. But I guarantee you. That's why you, the paper. Yep, because I guarantee you, the judge looked into it and was like, "Wait a minute." She checked all my back history. Like, wait a minute, this man just now got a modification right before court. How funny! Right. And he's right. He's never got a DNA test, and child support was supposed to do that one before they even started taking money out. But I was trying. To, I forgot to tell you yesterday during the day, and I was like, "Well, I'll save that for nighttime." Me and Babel talked that to put her in a good mood, and then look what happened last night. But it's on my docket. It's on my doctor's court-ordered DNA test, and I don't have to pay for it. It says all costs waived. Right, because they'll do your they'll do your swab while you're in there, and then they'll get make an appointment for her, and she has to do it because it's court-ordered. And if she don't, she goes to jail. Support. Huh? If she doesn't do it, they'll get her for hello. They'll get her for contempt of court. Right. And you know that's why she's probably pissed off and is burning her up right now. Is that reason right there? Because uh, I, I was reading it when I, uh, after I sat, you know, after me and you talked yesterday afternoon, and I was like, damn, I gotta let Babe know. And then I looked again, and me and you got into argument, and I was like, fuck, man, like, damn, I didn't even get a chance to tell her. So I was wanting to tell you this morning. I was looking at that letter, and then when we was getting ready to hang up, I said, wait a minute, we got her address. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking to myself, like, okay. Why now is that her address is on that paper? Now does it make sense? Because they gave me my court order DNA test. You know why, too? Because if the DNA test comes back... Look, I don't want to hear it. I'm about to use the bathroom. If the test comes back that he ain't mine, they know they got a lawsuit on their ass. Right, they can get in trouble because, for one, a DNA test has to be done regardless. It's the child support that matters. Yep. Yep. Look, Mommy Nelson, take your little ass to your room now. Smack his ass, man. I swear to God, if I was there, I'd punch that little boy. He gonna get his ass whooped. You can tell him, Daddy. When Daddy gets home, I'm whooping his fucking ass. So he can get in trouble every time when the other one sits there and tell him no, or they smack him. It's mommy, mommy, mommy. Don't want to hear it. Mm-hmm. You done did. You yep. done did it to yourself. So yep. if Mar and Bubba smack you, it's for a reason. Just like you know what? When Angel came earlier yesterday, do you know he Boo Boo raised his hand at me in front of Angel? Angel took his hand and swept as 
said, don't you ever raise your hand at mom. <laughs> That's my boy. He said, don't let me ever catch you sitting there raising your hand at her like you're going to hit her. Mm-hmm. I love you, gorgeous. I'm sorry. Well, hopefully that puts you in a little bit better mood for you today, knowing that she's got to do a DNA test. <laughs> I, I, I just could just imagine how furious she is. Because she told me, she spoke to me at the court. I'm surprised yeah. she even called me over there by her car. Because, you know what, the way I looked at her, when I first noticed her that she was there, she did not come talk to me. She didn't even look at me. Nothing. Because when I first seen her, I just looked at her like, hmm, this is the only me. <laughs> they said, bitch, I get my hands on you. <laughs> I just wanted to pound her. <laughs> I started to pound her going really, really fast, like, what? Bitch, shit. And then you said she made a comment about when I uh, said that. I don't even know if he's mine. And when you mentioned about the DNA, she goes and says, and I, I felt like saying something when he said something about paternity test. <laughs> what do so you she think she's saying now? I, I could just imagine what her, like, she'll probably text, or oh, no, she can't. Or she'll probably have little Chris text, or she'll text him over there because she doesn't got this number. But I she was going through little Christmas text, I mean, text message or whatever. But we haven't talked to him. We haven't texted him since the last time. Well, I can only imagine her fucking face right now. She right. is and salty. And the mail stating that she's got an appointment. Well, think about this. My motion was filed. In the court's uh, judge's office and on 11 8, on November 8th, <coughs> when I looked at my docket, the court order DNA was sent to her. Well, it was on my docket, filed Let's November 6th. Right, so she probably already got that shit. November 6th, it was, uh, it was filed. If she ain't get it yet, she's gonna get it. <laughs> but child support probably told her, like, hey, we need your address, and he needs your address. Period. Point blank. I love you, sexy. Thank you for everything. I love you too. And not only that, she did. She probably did get in trouble because uh, they found out that that was not her residence. That that, that she had another address on file. Right. I mean, that she was using a different address. Exactly, because remember, they only, they only had her mama's address. Right, because you're supposed to even, or, or they probably investigated it. Probably, when we call, sometime when we call child support, we, they probably, as much as we told them that she does not stay there, that she stayed in Cleveland, they probably did their own investigation, and they jumped on it and told her they need a new address for her. Because no, was that... Remember when we both sat there and told them we haven't seen him and this, that, and the third? We don't even know where he is. They probably say, hey, look, we got this motherfucker in jail. He has the right to know where this kid is. We need a real right. address <laughs> now. You always have to update your address, your phone number, so that way anything happens, they got a way to contact you. Yep. Unless, unless what I can think, too, is her and her mom got into it. Nah, I think child support just blew down on her ass, period. Right, I think so, too. Because technically, just like how the guardian at Lightham said, well, okay, you have to give her your address. Mm-hmm. Remember? When we went mm-hmm. to court, he had no choice but to give her his new address. And he right. was pissed off. Right, but, and that's exactly what she went through. Right, and if you're the parent, you have the right to have the phone number and the uh, and the address. So that's why when he said, you know what, he's gonna give us the address. You gotta give to your cell phone number. Yep. So therefore, it gotta be a time, you know, so that way there's way of contact. Yeah. And nobody says they say they they can get a hold of you, they reach you, and nothing. Mr. Rodriguez. Hello. 
Thank you for always being honest, loyal, and faithful to me. And never cheating on me or lying to be my beautiful soulmate. And I love you, my gorgeous wife. And you are the queen of my heart. Always and forever, you and only you. And I do trust. Huh? I said I love you too, always and forever. And I do trust you, beautiful, and I'm sorry. But I promise you, every bit of money that I've gotten from you is winning on phone time. Like, I felt bad for buying that damn coffee and hot cocoa. Like I said, I'm about to, I'm about to cancel it so I can make sure I got phone time to talk to you. And what I was going to do yesterday, I was going to order you a package. But I forgot, I thought, I got to think it to myself, like, okay, wait a minute, today's Friday. Cut off, I think, is already off. So I think that's what, I was like, okay. You know, even if I could have, I would have. You have one minute like left. Quit, quit something. Right. Listen to me, but okay? Like, okay, I'm going to put money, and then next week, then I'll just, you know. Do like maybe a small package or something. Well, just give me the same package you got me before, the Rock and Robin one. Because that's the cheapest one with the most stuff. You hear me? Right. Yeah, if you want to, I'd rather talk to you. But I love you. It just said we have one minute, and I will call you back later tonight, okay? And I'm sorry. Okay. I love you. I'm sorry, too. I love you, too. You try to have a good day and don't stress out, okay? Just take things one, slow, one time, you know, one thing at a time, all right, beautiful? I'm going to try because I got so much I got to do. I know, but just take your time. I love you. Promise me you will. You won't stress out. Okay. You know, I love Thank you, you like that. I love you. Goodbye. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Thank you. You have $8.92. This call will cost $0.21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permit, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. You're a dumbass for thinking I got somebody else, but you go ahead and you keep thinking. Yeah, I'm, I'm a dumbass, but yeah. like you're all the way in Medina. How do I not know Kathy's not going to go? How do I not know any other bitch out there ain't going to go? Because you don't trust me. me. You don't trust me, so why are we together? Just like I told you in the letter. You don't trust me. You don't don't trust me? You don't trust me and and tell me, oh, I trust you 100%, Larissa. And this and this and that. Get the fuck out of here. You don't trust me. Just like you don't trust me. Just like you never trusted me. Oh, You're think right. I'm a hoe because I got nine kids, right? Hey. You think I'm a hoe because I got as many kids as I and got. That's how you treat me. You act like I cheated on you and lied to you, so it is. It is what it is, nigga. I'm not going to argue with it you. Is, it is. You yep. me back then. It is what it is. Like I said. Right. Another bitch is trapped me, huh? Why the fuck you waste your minutes calling me dead? Just another bitch to trap me, right? Just another bitch to trap me, right? Right? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Remember that. Don't call me no more. Remember that. Yep, I will remember that. Remember that. God bless you. Have a good one. Yep. Remember, you killed us. Yep, I remember that. Trust me. Yeah, just tell your new nigga don't put his hands on my kids. You killed us. You killed us. You tell your new nigga don't put his hands on my kids or that'll be the last thing that happens to you and him. Yep. Like I said, yep. you tell your new nigga keep it moving, I'm gonna fucking kill you and him. 
No, go ahead. You're on recording, bitch. I don't give a fuck, dumb hoe. You're on recording, you dumb bitch. Don't call okay. me no more. And? Don't call me no more. Remember that, like dumb ass. Remember, yeah, me. whatever, whatever. Okay, bye, bye, bitch. The caller has hung up. After the beep, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have $19.03. This call will cost 21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from Eleven, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press 6. To accept this free call, press thank you for using Secure us. You may start the conversation Let's now. Hi, my gorgeous cellmate. I'm okay. Shut that off. Are you okay? Are you okay? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Well, I just wanted to call and hear your voice real quick before we get locked out for an hour and a half. And make sure you guys keep the heater on, baby. It's cold, okay? Yeah, it was no one. Yeah, no, I've seen that. You just got that. Shut that off! What are you guys doing? Boo! Shut it off! You fucking kid, I swear to God. Send him down there with Marmar then. He's supposed to be upstairs in the attic, because I cleaned up there. We got the small little heater up there. I said, keep him up there while I'm down here to clean it. Cause I just almost got done doing this landing. All I gotta do is vacuum. You already did the Come downstairs. Shut it downstairs. off! I can't hear. You. Huh? You already did the downstairs. Downstairs. What? I can't try to get the downstairs. Downstairs. No, I. All I gotta do is shampoo it. That's it. Oh. Uh, right on. Up here, up fucking little rats upstairs. I love you, my gorgeous wife, and I'm missing you again. You are well. You love him, you too. Well, I love you. I love you. I love you, too. Did, uh, quick question. Did Mike or anybody text you? Did his boss or anybody text back you? Nobody texted yet. Nobody texted yet. He said, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. right, huh? yes. right. <laughs> I love you. 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 I Sitting over here perfectly fine because I took the smoke break. Because leaning down with that shot back is hurting my back, so I was like, gotta take a break. And then right. I'm fine. Well, second, I can't get down. Oh, you too. Give me that. Bye. But you're gonna be downstairs in the living room where I at least want a bubble with you, not boo boo girl. Oh, hell no. No. Not bubble? I don't want none of them downstairs. It's clean <laughs> down there. All I want to do is shampoo the carpet downstairs and be done. But I don't want you by yourself, babe. Oh, I thought you might have them down there. I'm no, talking I about, like, right now. Go, I said, when you go to shop, yes, I said, when you go downstairs to shampoo the living room or dining room, I want somebody down there with you. 
Just in case oh, your yeah. back like, gives out or something. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I know, beautiful. No, I'm scared. Are you? Uh, the, the phone's got to be fucking up. I can barely hear you. And I got this volume button all the way up. kind of low. Oh, oh, no, it says text uh, now of it responding. Oh, yeah, but I mean, it's still because of the service, because of the fucking weather. But they're about to lock us down, gorgeous. Just promise me you'll take it slow, okay? I will. Don't overexert yourself, my beautiful wife. I love you. I know, love you too. I'll see you later. I'll see you later, okay? All right. I love, love you, you, gorgeous. You're my everything, Miss Rebecca. You're my everything, too? Mm. Always and forever? Always and forever. Mwah. Mwah. Alright, I love you. They're about to call lockdown right now. Alright, love you. Let's get that ass for me. I love you, Sexy. Yes, I love you too. I love her too. Bye, beautiful. Alright, love you, bye. Love you too. Bye, beautiful. Bye. I love you. I love you. The caller has hung up.